someone ready to do this right now? Are you ready to do this right now? Is someone ready to do this right now? This is what we are going to do. Flush out a lot. Sweep out a lot. Touch out a lot. Spew out a lot. Is someone ready to do this right now? Are you ready to do this right now? Is someone ready to do this right now? Yes, it is the floor of judgment to me. I think everyone know how painful life is to me. I feel no one likes to be lied to. To me, I dearly know everyone had lies. I thought about this always. Oh, I thought about this always. I thought about this always. Yahushua said, I am the
fire, right to his paradise. And the big fools are a mess of me thoughts. They are crucified, Messiah. Hey, hey, hey. You never believe like I do. In my mama, my aunt, or a boy, yeah, is a problem. Yeah, my Santa Labu. Allah said, He does it this way. Allah said, He does that. Allah said, Yeah, He does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How He deceived you. How He deceived me. And to believe the message of the crew. Is it true? Is it true? I know. Greetings to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the name of Abba Yehuwah. Shabbat Shalom, much love and much prosperity. I thank you family for you are the reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near. Just as we see the days goes by and so draw nigh the coming of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Just as the Malak of Yehuwah saith unto Yehuwah the Revelator, sealed not the prophecies of this book, for the time is near. Exactly what we are doing here, family, decoding end times prophecies, signs, dreams, in preparing people, body, house, for the return of King Yehoshua HaMashiach, to whom due eternally all worship, glory, honor, exaltation, wealth, riches, power, to the glory of his magnificent Father Yahuwah the Almighty, and to the Ruach HaKodesh, the forever blessed one, the very DNA of Abbe Yehuwah, the very pure energy of Abbe Yehuwah. Oh yes, Abbe Yehuwah, you have been worshipped in the temple of your Isha, for you are my eternal Ish. I love you. I do love you. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. It is time to roar. It is time to roar. Wake up. This is not a time to be sleeping. Are you still on your bed? Yahushua said, Why man slept? The enemy that came, the enemy that came in to sow the very wrong seed. This is what, you know, falling asleep always brings about, makes, makes us, you know, 
makes enemy excuse me to plant in the wrong seed wake up friends wake up wake up wake up and stand on your feet all right now like i always love to say trumpet sounds precede every single movement of abe Yehuwa. That which he has already said right in Shimon 34 verses 10. That is what we are sending over here to you hear it. Light in the have you here. Did you hear the trumpet sound? It is a light. It is awakening. That is what we are doing over here. That which he, that he has already predicted. What was that? And what could that be? It is the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach. You know, in those days when he came, he came like a baby. So that was why filthy men laid their hands upon him. But this time it's coming with the power of all heaven. It's coming with the glory of his divinity. It's coming with all heaven. Heaven itself is going to be shaking at, by, at his coming. So what about the earth? Are you his bride? Is there anything in your gamut? Okay, there's still room for you to do that. That is the nature of the segment. For you to dust out. For you to flush away. You know, those are things that, that, that would deny you of heaven. That will serve as a blockage. Okay, you need to get rid of them. Oh, that is the meaning of the segment. That is that is what we are doing over here. All right. Uh -huh. Except if you are the bride of Jesus, sorry, it goes nowhere. If you are the bride of Allah, sorry, it goes nowhere. Because this Yahushua Mashiach, my eternal husband, he don't like breaking breaking people rules. <laughs> this is what you want. You want Jesus have it. You want to keep Sunday? You can. Okay, you can have it. You want to keep freak the okay that's left for you you can have it but the judgment white throne that is why he exists to give an account all right at least i forget this of course i won't just as the raw hakodesh has already said to you and me let him that have ear hear what he himself is resounding or has already been said what could that be again let him that have ear hear why do you have ear I do have ear. So what kind of ears is it, is, is it talking about? That spiritual ear to hear the holy voice. A spiritual ear, ear that is already been circumcised, you know, to hear the holy voice. Because ear that is not circumcised, it's going to be hearing uncircumcised voice. And what could that be? What is the voice of uncircumcision? It is, I have abolished the royal law. That is the voice that has never been circumcised and never will it. The voice of Allah has never been circumcised and never will it. The voice of Jesus never been circumcised and never will it because these are fully deities. The letter J that gave Jesus is 400 years old. These are fully deities. The, that is why they can that, that that is why they cannot really you know handle the royal law the way it's supposed to be. That is why they lies. Okay? Because Yahushua said the biblical Messiah said until the heaven and the earth he said think not don't even think of it that don't that okay and I've come to abolish the royal law not the prophet don't even dare until when he said rather I come to fulfill until when until the heavens and the earth is no more Revelation 21 Yehu can I say I saw the new heaven and the new earth for the first heaven and the first earth is no more. This is the criteria, people. It baffles my heart. To so see that you see the first heaven, you see the you know first earth. You say Jesus know the real no, that is the voice of uncleanliness you are hearing. If you hear a righteous voice, you won't be you know holding on to Babylonia. Alright? To my plaplet city today. When the first woman heard the voice of the dragon, and she go for him. And that's it. Okay. Now to my perplexity, thought part of humanity is hearing that same voice today. How do we know? Jesus Christ said, He have already nailed the royal law to the cross. And Allah also said, He abolished it because it is corrupt. And I gave, <coughs> excuse me, Quran. And when did they start this laying of the royal law to the cross? Right in Genesis 3. He nailed it, He abolished it over there. And He's still going and doing more and more. Abolishing, abolish. I don't know how many that is going to abolish the royal land. In fact, I'm tired. I don't know. He has been doing it. He's still doing it. He's still doing it. He's still doing it. And people are saying, <laughs> You're hearing a holy voice? No. Excuse me, baby. You can hear a holy voice. Let's say, you know, Shabbat is perpetual. And no, is not perpetual. You should be keeping Sunday. No, that is not a holy voice. That is the voice of uncleanliness. Yes, Jesus is a park, okay? 
That is what park people will always go to park. Rebo At least I forget this. The signs of the last day seem something very deep over here. You can't obviously believe that Watchmen, Yahoo, and Devora did not pay me to do the intro for Whited Out 4 to deceive the masses. The true Israelites are the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics and Native Americans scattered throughout the earth. The Judah team has an agenda to make all the tribes Hamite. Matthew 24.4 says, To take heed that no man deceive you. Hey guys, the gig is up. I'm not the real Jesus. As a matter of fact, the fella's name wasn't even Jesus. He had a Hebrew name. There wasn't a letter J until a few hundred years ago. <laughs> With that being said, I have fooled the whole world into the biggest sham of all time. The name and identity of the real fella has been taken over by me. <laughs> there are thousands of paintings of Jesus and they don't even come close. Jesus was the creation of the Roman Catholic Church, which served to replace the real fella who probably looked more like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> but who cares? The truth doesn't matter. As long as you pay your tithes. Gotcha. Prior to this, I got a precept, Revelation 12, now I read. And the great dragon is great. Did you, did you hear that? Is great, okay, not small. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent is the phrase. That old serpent. What is this saying? It's letting you know this very dragon has an origin. Well, Genesis 3, that old. The royal law has done us so much well that he's turned for us that so that we shouldn't fall into the hands of a deceiver but it, it it really amazes me these days to see that you know this great dragon is still lure himself inside of people as you know just to destroy us okay he said that all same paint what was it oh, it's all already abolished the royal law he turned the royal law upside down old same that was his old origins still doing it right now call the devil and satan that's correct because they are of one go in one tree of the knowledge of good and evil which deceiveth listen now yes the my bugly which deceiveth the whole world no minus christa he no me which deceiveth the whole world no minus tb joshua which deceiveth the whole world no wait a minute no minus you know <laughs> the boy which deceiveth the whole world. What are you saying? What are you talking about? Minus Suleiman. Which deceiveth the whole world. No, just a wait a minute. Hold on. Ah, minus the Christian though. What is your problem? Which deceiveth the whole world. What are you talking about? No, minus Islam. Okay. Which deceiveth the whole world. What, 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 what are you saying? I can't get it. I can't just get it. Okay, minus Ibo people. Okay. Which deceiveth the whole what minus Benihi? Which deceiveth the whole what minus Rea Banke? Which deceiveth the whole what minus Tibi Joshua? Eh? Adeboy? Minus, uh huh. Who? Crystal Kafo? Which deceiveth the whole? Are you in this world? So if you are in this world, simply know yet that you are his victim in one way or the other. Uh -huh. So what do you need to do? It to sort it out. How did he do it? How did he? How? How did he come about? That is what a wise one needs to be doing at this particular time of at this particular period of a time. We are in the very moment of great deception. It's gonna be rampant. Matthew twenty four. That was the sun. It's gonna be rampant. The lies of these people of this folly deity. It's gonna be so hard. The antenna is gonna be raised into the heavens. Wake up, Oriba Shantalabo. Should I take it again? And the great dragon is great. Always knows that. Is more subtle. The serpent. Genesis three is more subtle than any beast of this of the field. The field is talking about there. It's referring to the whole world. You can see Matthew thirty for that. It's more crafty. It's more smart than any smart TV. <laughs> it's crafty, okay? In this craftiness, he lay hold upon the four corner of the earth. But there's a room for you to break loose. And that is the nature of this segment, to break loose from his lies, okay? 
Should I take it again? And that great dragon was cast at that old ascent pit. Called the devil and Satan. Yes, they are one family. Which deceiveth the whole one ascent by the four corner of the earth. He was cast out into the earth right here. And his angels were cast out with him. He didn't say he's demon. Did you get that? I don't know. How can a normal psychological policy? You will just read this play. You rationalize it. You then move on. You don't. It, this play is a red sign. Danger. 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 Deceiver. The whole world. Eh? I am here on earth. How did it do it to me? Where am I falling? Where do I miss it? How did he do it? A wise one that is really heavily conscious. This is what you need to be doing by now. Don't spiritualize it and call yourself incredible arc. It cannot come unto you. This great dragon never spared Messiah himself. He still come to seduce him. He wanted to seduce him. And we see that free negotiation. That when Messiah was about to go to cross, we now begin to see flesh somehow now begin to reflect that negotiation of you know, the devil right in Matthew 4. And I begin to pray three good times. Three good times, devil uh, uh, you know, trying to seduce, seduce him into wickedness. And that three good times as well, he prayed. If only this cup would pass me by. When I see the author of life, I begin to pray contrary to what he came here to do. He came to die for my sin and for your sin. But he now begin to pray contrary. But however we bless Abba Yehuwah, who has never ever for no reason failed himself, even though man failed, he has never his strength. He empowered him. He backed him up. I said, you need to go to the cross, baby. You need to do it for our betterment. You see? So if you can stand in the face of the altar of life and try to seduce him, who are you? You filthy you? He cannot seduce you. You filthy me? He cannot seduce you. No, 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 no. Wake up. Because a normal said, what? It come to a point, I was very much afraid of this Revelation 12 now. Wait a minute. Wait, just wait a minute. My I was still so deep into this Christianity. Christianity, it is the way to hell. It can never take you to heaven. That is not true. Everything they practice, it is Babylonian. I, I want to look at Christian. He don't want to throw his hands. All of them is just rolling, ro ro you know, on the floor. I, I, without even touching them, that must be spiritual. And that must be supernatural. And when I come to this place, said this devil deceiveth the whole world. <laughs> say, how did he do it? I did not say deceive Christ, you know me. But power is overflowing. What about TB Joshua? Power is overflowing. What about Benny? He, ah, 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 what is going on here? It got to a point I was so much afraid of it. I don't want to come here anymore. But the raw hackler will push me back. Go and study it and do research. Research everything you are believing the Christian that is and I begin to research. I start with Sunday madness. I couldn't find it and I begin to question. So I come, how did it come about? Uh -huh. When I finish with that, I proceed to Bad Friday. When I was done, Jesus was the biggie biggie. Jesus was the final yoke breaking off me by the power of the Roa Hakodesh. The letter J that gave you Jesus is in here 400 years old. So what was the name we were using those days? Our uh, forefather or the 12 apostles, the elect, they never knew this name. Even your first King, 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 King James translation done in the year 1611, 406 years now, there is no Jesus over there. That blew me off, okay? And, take, and I took off the garment of this bastard Jesus and I run for my life. So a normal psychological policy, when you come to this particular place, it's going to put fear somehow in you. Deceive the whole world. How can that be? Okay, so that is it. Who will I believe you? Am I, I going to believe Christ? I don't above the one that died for me. Yahushua goes to the cross. He suffered that he paid all for me. Who am I going to believe? This is revelation. He is the one revealing the hidden wickedness of you know this holy deity, Allah and Jesus. He is the one revealing it. So am I going to cast down on my back and run after miracle? Christ is doing miracles so that I can justify. TB Joshua is doing miracle with that can justify and to begin to do what they do and keep what they keep and celebrate what they celebrate and take their God. No, I won't be able, I won't dare to do that. I have done that in the past, never will lie anymore. So this is how the Roa, how could I break the use of Sunday? And all, in fact, not just Sunday, everything they do. This is how I break the yokes of me, okay? Because I was 
really really troubled i don't know what what it is and i don't know how to figure it out but we you and i know the messiah talks about when he's gonna come <laughs> deception is gonna grow rampant everywhere so here i am matthew 24 24 for they shall rise first mishiach is still speaking of the devil and the dragon and the serpent okay because they are acting like messiah first mishiach is plural and first prophets that is his current like tb joshua like Christa Hinome, like uh, uh, Justice Lima, all and all, okay? And it shall show great signs. What did he just say? Great signs, what? It shall show great signs and wonders. So, can I justify Christa Hinome because he's doing great signs and wonders? No. When you do that, you are taking man as your Messiah. You're going to mix heaven, all right? You're going to mix it. It shall show great signs and wonders. And not so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very light. Yes. A baruch. Baruch Abba Yehuah for this great stipulation he extended unto the light, the very light. I was once being captured, not being enslaved by this wicked lying spirit, but by the power and the melting of Abba Yehuah, I break loose. So that is the nature. He said, Take off the sun dust in your eyes in order for you to see, uh, you know, in order for you to tell your brother to remove the sun dust in his own eye, you first of all have to remove your own. So therefore, you will not see clearly, very clear. To remove your brother's own. That's what I'm doing over here. I've already removed my own. By the power of the Ruach HaKodesh. That is how I can talk about it. That is how I can see clearly this are uh, demonic kovu. This are uh, satanic gathering. Mm -mm. These are the many false prophets. Uh, that has already come to deceive many. My Messiah speaks about. This is why. I'm, because he also talks about Messiah. Of course this false prophet needs to also have false Messiah. Uh, oh Jesus indeed. Uh, it's grass. It's snake. Uh, suck my dick. Mm? Drink my spa because Jesus said it is a consecrated milk, no spiritual milk for you to fly into heaven. This is the name of Jesus they are using to do all this crap. It's snake in the name of Jesus. Eat your weevil. Really? Bring all your first whatever. Every money you earn, first of your January, you have to bring it all to your pastor. Really? And this is how Jesus carried. This is satanism, okay? It is demonic, okay? It is destructive. Hmm? All right now. Mishmika and people, here we are in the heavenly court room of Abbe Yehuah with this powerful, life-giving, life enforcement indeed message titled for you and me from the very mouth of Abba Yehuah goes this way, the mystery of Mecca. It is, I will make myself like the most high. Allah is the one speaking, okay? Please notice, Allah is the, not me. I can never make myself like the most high. I'm his baby. Okay. But Allah wants to run the race, or is already running the race with Abbe Yehoah. So the mystery of Mecca, it is, I will make myself like the most high. Part one, I've already done my homework. I watched it out already. It's going to be one and two by Yehoah's grace. Okay. I rebuke any missed 40. <laughs> now I want to drag me. <laughs> Oh, Baba, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Part one or two. So I encourage you, family, you know, to follow up with the part two. If you find it, you know, helpful to your soul, you can follow up. If not, don't never mind. Okay, never bother. But if you find it interesting, you know, to your soul, I encourage you, you know, to step out a little bit for part two. So this is the, our message or this is our lecture today. Hmm? Shabbat shalom. So let us feast with Yahushu Hamishiach and his heavenly cut. Rome is over there. It's over there right now. Yes, he's the teacher. He's the one talking through me. All right now. Give ear, O ye heavens. Deborah 32, 1 to 4. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak in ye, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew. As a small upon the tender herb, and as they show us upon the grass, because I will publish the name of Yehoah. Yes, Yehoshua. This is how Yehoshua did it. He, he is the one that came to publish the name of Abba Yehoah. How did he do that? I come in my father's name. John 5 43. This is how he published it. What is his father's name? Yehoah. And what is his son's name? Yehoshua. And what is Yehoah? I am that I am. And what is Yehoah? Yehoshua. I am that I am his salvation. 
So when your abbreviation is being called Joshua or Joshua, the one you call Joshua in your English term, but according to the biblical, you know, uh, the holy language, it is being called Joshua. Simply means salvation. Okay, that is the abbreviation. So when you blend it all together, Yahushua, I am that I am is salvation. So this is how he come to he published it right in the cross. He published the published the name of his father through his blood. That is the only name that is being given unto you and me. And we are, but we must be saved. This is how he published it. All right. This is how he published it. It was a name that was not yet been published, because no one is worthy to publish it. He may not found worthy to publish this name. That's why he took that name upon himself. Yahoshua, meaning I am that I am is salvation. I comes in my father's name. So he made does that through his blood right at the cross. He published this awesome, wonderful name, Yahuwah. I am that you believe in me, it doesn't matter. You don't believe it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make no changes in my nature. I am that I am. That's who I am. Eternal. You worship me. It is your glory. You don't. It doesn't make no difference. But you wait for judgment. Reba baba baba si kaya babo. Rima si kaya babo seke. Right now we proceed. Ascribe your greatness unto our Elohim. That's correct. That's what I'm doing over here. He is the rock. Yes. His work is perfect. Yes. For all his ways are just. That's correct. A Elohim of truth. That's correct. Without iniquity. That's correct. Just and right. Is he a baruhu? Abba Yehua, for you are awesome, powerful, lovely. Oh, oh, to you be all glory, eternal. Mm. Yes, another wonderful presentation. The royal law, how does it work out in our lives? Point one, it goes like this it functions as a sacred marriage covenant between Yehua and his people, Yazrael. Point two, it outlines how the marriage would function, its stipulation, and what makes it a happy and a fruitful marriage. Point three. It precept describe how the marriage would function. Point four. It what picture tells what marriage life would be like. Be like here. Yeah, point five. It judgment describe how each of the party would relate to each other. Point six. For either party to violate this agreement, violate the marriage itself. Point seven. For the groom promise never ever to violate it because the groom is Abbe Yehovah. He has never ever 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 broken his word because he don't have the appetite to do that. When it comes, you know, to the breaking of his word, he is so powerless like a baby, he can't even do it, he don't have the strength. This is the guarantee you and I have today that we, you know, bragging of it there, heaven is our home. Yes, we can say that again and again and again because of his faithfulness, okay. His words are yea and amen eternal. That was why a great stipulation was already being extended unto the elect if it were possible. Is it at all? Utterly possible. For Jesus, the Jesus, Allah, the devil, to, you know, to deceive us. Uh, 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 utterly, no. So we are, that's, what we are, that's what we can come at today. That's what we are coming out. Because it, it, it is not utterly possible. You see, we are coming out. I was once in this covert of witches and wizards. People that is flying in the daytime. What is what is the definition of sin? Breaking the royal law. When you break the which means you are witches. What that is the definition of witches or wizard. Okay, so a sense of disobedience is like a witchcraft unto me. That's it. So when you break the royal law, you know you, you are being attacked with a witch witchcraft spirit resident inside of you. You are flying daytime. Okay. Not like this mad Allah and mad Jesus that says Shabbat is perpetual. And now it's no more perpetual. The royal law is perpetual. Now it's no more perpetual. Yeah, forfeit Messiah. The biblical Messiah forfeit already for feast. Still three to go. So what could that be? What is the three leftover? The day of trumpet, the day of atonement, and the eternal birth. That is his birth day. The feast of tabernacle. All right. So that's what we are waiting for. Ha <laughs> I love my husband. Abba Yehua is my eternal husband. 
I'm fat and so the heat. Yes, I'm dippy heat. <laughs> I will let go. I don't care what they will take me. I will let go. I just want to see him the way he is and I want to be with him all eternity. All right. I don't need Jesus and I don't need Allah. Mm? All right now. So before we go run this race or before we go unveil the mystery of Mecca, one more presentation to go. I bet you want review story D, mm, like that of FBI one. Rather, it's because you'd hear what he won. Because I bet you want reveal it unto me a guy, a man will just download all this unique vision. Not to use it to place I bet you want not at all. If he's doing that, that will have been my glory. Because that is bearing of fruits. Okay? You give one, spread it out, another one pick it, spread it out, another one take it, spread it out. That is bearing of fruits. But this guy wasn't doing that. Rather than pervert it. Christianity pervert our royal law. Islam pervert our royal law. Synagogue and Satan does pervert our royal law. So they always pervert it. Okay, you also coming to pervert this unique vision, but you always digging out these days, you know, to reach out to his people. No, that one cannot stand. Okay, you pervert it. That is enough for you. But you're going to pay back. I bet he was going to pour fire on you for perv perverting this royal law. Say, if you love me, you love life. When you hate me, you hate de death. Say the one that pray unto me and cover his ears to the royal law. Say you are praising an abomination unto me. You pervert the royal law. You said it's a curse. It's going to be a curse on you. That's it. So right now it goes this way. How about you want to say do it this way? There is the sea. Anyone that dare. I'm going to heap that curse upon them. So right now it goes like this. Regardless how few view, the view is. I don't care. If they want to see repair heaven, celebrate heaven, rejoice. That is what we are out for every Shabbat. We comes out over here every now and then only to save one son. As Abba Yahweh has already had mercy upon me. And so he was to find the one that is worthy of salvation. Yes, through this segment. Right now it goes like this. It goes this way. It is you'd hear what he wanted. You listen to this message, you want to download it and resound it under the voice of you. And you now say, Jesus, give it unto you, Ebola. It's going to visit you for that reason. In Yahuwah's mighty name, because we are destroying Jesus over here. That's going to be a contradiction when you say, Jesus, give it unto you. Mm -mm. It doesn't add to. Another one. When you listen to this message, you want to, res you want to download it and resound it under the voice of you. And you now use it to please any deity, so just Allah. Jesus, Christ, the ghost fire, the curses of Ananias and Sapphira, Sapphira, uh, Sapphira is going to attend you for that reason. In your was mighty name. Another one. You listen to this message, you download it, and you want to resound it under the voice of you. And you not place any money making obligations, such a condition, such as sowing or seed. The hottest place in the link of fire shall be your dwelling eternally without mercy. In your was Mighty name and scripture to validate this. You can go to Joshua 6 26, out of Apostle 5 1 to 11, out of Apostle 36 to 12, Revelation 22 18 to 19. Yes, however, it goes in this both way when you download it, you resound the other voice of you and use it to place Abba Yahweh reaching out to the Lordship of Israel, also to the chosen Gentile. Double glory is upon you. Double honor is upon you. Double anointing is upon you. A crown of honor is upon your head. You're going to rule and reign eternally with Yahushua HaMashiach. A throne of honor is already being you know, set on you. And because of your faithfulness, this spoken word of Abba Yahweh will be fulfilled to you. I will save one and save the entire household. Yes, just because of your faithfulness, Abba Yahweh is going to you know, save your entire household. Then you're going to sit on your throne. You know, see all your family surrounding you jubilating eternally with Yahushu Hamishiak in Yahuwah's mighty name. It goes in this above way. With this being said, let's go now unveil the mystery of Mecca. It's unspeakable. It's heartbreaking. Yes. Like you know, everyone does know. That's why everything. Is there anything without a name? Not at all. We all knew names carries authority, of course. Name, names carry hidden meaning, of course. We all do, you know, understand that, you know, logic. Okay? Like Moshe, when he was going to redeem the people of Yehovah out of the land of bondage, you know, saith unto Abba Yehovah, if they ask me what is your name, what am I going to say? Because authority needs to go before him. 
Okay. That is, we see what that name did, and that name is still working today, and it all it carries authority. Okay. So we want to see the authority inside this worker maker. Everything is being named after names. Okay. Yes, that is the glory of it. But there are some glorious names and there are some demonic names. So it might look wonderful on the surface. But inside, that is what we are looking into. What does it contain? Because if the devil comes to you as a devil, you're going to run away. Whereby he masquerades himself as an angel of light, you're going to sit and, you know, and, and drink tea and cookies with him. Okay, you're going to give him the right of fellowship. So this is how they are doing it. They are going to masquerade in me, to paint it as, you know, wonderful. But uh, inside is full of dead men's bones. That is what was it. Inside is full of dead men's bones. So what of you see the dead men's bones feel this name called Mecca? Why is the title? The mystery of Mecca. It is, I will make myself like the most, not me, okay? Please always remember that, okay? <laughs> Woohoo! Always remember that. Footnote, I am not the one. Allah is the one talking, okay? All right now. Let's put some more. All right now. Let's go dig into Allah's head and bring it out. This alph five alph alphabet, it is five demo. Hiding in Mecca, we already, you know, bring them out. <laughs> there are five demons out together. Listen up. You know? This is breaking news vision. This is grand shaking vision. This is a trumpet sound vision. This is life force of vision. A breath of eternal vision. Outstanding vision. A huge purifying vision. A yoke and chains breaking vision. Fire for fire vision. Allah break in pieces vision. This is enter into Allah's head and dig it out vision. Mm -hmm. This is a smoky gun vision. <laughs> a heavily case reopened vision. Now we are just on our way into the onto the mountain top. Uh -huh. In order for us to see very clear this name, aka Kameke, we need to climb up our all right. Another Allah spread Ebola virus. Another Allah long in the fire chaos. Make her unfold. Make her unlock. Make her unveiled. Make her undo. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Is someone ready to do this right now? Are you ready? Don't worry. The powerful anointing is on its way. We, this is just a start. Eh? We are practicing. I can also call it we are rehearsing. <laughs> this one I'm doing now is just practicing. No, you know, no guitar, no band, nothing. Not, you know, to also sweeten it a little bit. Only struggle with the, the, the dead voice. Again. The dead voice again. Don't worry. The voice is going to be raising eh? because me, I will play. I'm going to praise Abbe Yehu. I'm sorry. I'm going to praise Abbe Yehu. Eh? The voice is gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> open like that of trumpet, eh? I buy you what better do it. I'm, I'm not gonna be struggling with this small small voices. Mm -mm. I need the voice of trumpet to worship it. Because it's worthy eternal to be worshipped. Okay. Right now you ready? Are you ready for heaven to cut this? In fact, if your antenna is really, really, really hard, you're gonna cut it. Except those that the antenna is so low, maybe the the TV is low, they don't want to pull volume. But if you want to put volume and you raise the antenna to the heavens with 360 degree, <laughs> now they will just turn your way. It classes from the inner. All right now. So we go for the very first lecture of this work on Mecca. Why did they be called M? Mm -mm. M, mm -mm. M, 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 M. Isn't it? Okay, it is M. What did they go for? Mystery, murder. Of all settlement, did you get that? a mystery murder of all settlement? This is mystery inside mystery. You know, we are the mystery of Mecca, and we now also include the mystery. There is double mystery. <laughs> don't dare, don't try my father. Eh? I keep telling you people, don't try my father. It's fully loaded with mystery. <laughs> when we are done with Mecca, these five demons we will set them ablaze, family. Being into next Shabbat, <laughs> another powerful one son is welcome. What could that be? The mystery of Kaaba, the holies of holies of Allah. Want to dig into it again and bring out all those demons and flog all of them 
and put them in everlasting punishment. Yes, that's what we are doing over here. Bear your egg, hey, my one, no. Right now, scripture to validate this. What is the first? Don't ever say this is coincidence. Don't ever even think of it. Coincidence? No, what is the meaning of Mecca? Mecca simply means mother of all settlement. Nice, you can go and ask Google, okay? If you don't believe me, don't take my word. You just go and ask Google, what is the meaning of Mecca, please? Mother of all settlement. So, right now, what is the first letter? Of this one called Mecca and eh? mystery because this mother is a mystery. Eh? If father, the fuck, if she she murdered, she is the mother of everyone here on earth. Okay, so the a uh, 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 maternal glory spread to the four corner of the OF, mother of all settlement. Oh, this says some part all settlement coincident. No, again, we just started with just first letter, we see the evidence already. Mystery murder of all settlement. I'm gonna let you know what that is. All right, so first of all, there's a breakdown in this uh, very message, you know. So we're gonna uh, take it step by step. We're gonna first of all see what is what is mystery, and then we'll not look into murder, then we'll not look into settlement or settlement. Okay, so there's a breakdown. Bear with me a little while. It's of a great worth, okay, for your soul. So right now, I want to first of all look into murder. Excuse me, mystery murder of all settlement. Let's go now to Revelation 17. I'm going to find it over there. All right, now I read. Revelation 75. And upon her forehead, listen now. And upon, here is a breakdown, okay? We're going to come into the forehead. Okay, we'll come to the name. We'll come to uh, murder. We'll come to Allah. We'll come to abomination of the earth. So I read, and upon her forehead was a name written, mystery. So what is this name? I let you know already if you are a constant follower. This name mystery, it is Jesus. All right. It is Jesus. 100% it is Jesus. All right. Now, first of all, what is mystery? I'm sorry. I should have, first of all, do a little uh, 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 preparation or background about mystery. So what is mystery? So mystery is something you can never acquire, you can never, you know, uh, 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 understand, or you can never uh, 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 get into with your normal physical eyes, or your normal heart, or your normal understanding, or your normal knowledge. You can, it's been taken away, far away from you. It is a thing you can never ever understand with your normal wisdom, with your normal, you can't get it. You can't just lay your hands on it. It is so hiding away from you that from eternity to eternity, you can see it. So we have these two kind of mystery over here today. On this glorious Shabbat, we will look into the mystery of Abba Yahweh, how does it work? And we will also look looks into the mystery of Allah, how does it work? After we are done with that, we will not proceed now to the forehead of it all. Alright? Because this name is being placed upon their foreheads. This is heavy. Okay? So, mystery is something you can never acquire. It's something you don't know. It's something you don't have no idea of it. It's something that you are dead to. Just like a dead man in the grave. You, you don't know nothing. That is what mystery is. That is how Alpha can illustrate it. You can so go and ask Google. All right, we are doing it together, isn't it? So I take it again. And upon her forehead, what's a name written? Forehead. So what is for? Prior to this, she's the mother of all settlement. So this name is in the four corner of the earth. Mother of all settlement. This says apart. You can ask Google if you don't. Don't take my word. What is the meaning of Mecca? I'm going to let you know, mother of all settlement, okay? So now, there's a name written on her forehead. Okay, so let's first of all do some part of the mystery. Then we will not come to the forehead. Let's take it step by step. Let us not rush. We know this mystery is on, a fo is on, a, on her forehead, okay? All right, now take it again. And upon her forehead was a name written, mystery. Babylon, the great, the murder. Of highlights and abominations of the earth. All right now, 
We are coming right back here again, okay? And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. She is a killer. She is a murderer. She switches a wizard. She is a blood sucking demon, okay? Don't be. When we are talking about woman, it doesn't really necessarily a woman. Prior to this, he is speaking of a system, governorship, a system that gives birth to many, many children like that of a woman. It is the biblical terminology, okay? You see a woman again, Revelation 12, that is a holy woman, which we are, the people of the book. Here yeah, is the wayward woman, okay? So we are coming into that. Now, verse 7. And the angel said unto me, listen now. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? When my brother, my father saw this woman, the way she decked, when she decked and reached herself, he now marvel. Wow. Because talking about the one that's, oh no, I love this guy. I love people that carry anointing. Wow. Don't, don't speak against Christ talking about before me. Eh? I can't get you more <laughs> So that was how deep my love was for that man. That was, heaven, no, I'm not lying. But today is my worst enemy. I hate him without passion. Why? Because you are not an illiterate. You should have helped us, you know, to work out the real thing of the royal law. So that we return back to the royal law. You shouldn't be working in iniquity. No. That is why he is the one I hate most. I once love him most. But he's the one I hate most. In fact, T.B. Joshua, another worst enemy. Sulema, oh no, that worst of the world. They are my eternal enemy. These people, I hate them with all passion. Why? Because they have what it takes to unveil the lies of St. but they don't care. Rather than just propagating and helping Satan to prosper in his wickedness, in this. Do you know how many so under Christa you know, men? They are all doomed. I said the, 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 the people of the book is coming out. If not, sorry that becomes that of Allah. Because here is their mother. Allah is their mother. Allah is what we are talking about, the religions of Allah. Because the religion of Allah, Islam is the one to consummate all religion. We are coming to that. We are so having the point, okay? Let me not fast further myself. <laughs> I know it's my star. Yes, I'm so happy. So blessed and so glad to do the will of Abba Yehuwa. I'm doing it without passion. Yes, I've been in passion to worship about you and I love the truth. Don't deceive me. I hate that. I hate lies. All right, now we read. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? Why are you marvel? I will tell you, I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and the ten horns. That is that is what the Ruach HaKodesh, that is what I, I have revealed to me, the mystery of Mecca and the mystery of Islam, the mystery of the Christian, the mystery of the synagogue of Satan. Yes, you can get the mystery for him. So now this is the mystery, okay? So now let's go. Let's get another picture of a mystery. This is how he said, I'm going to unveil unto you. So when you keep reading, he said the water, this hollow side upon, where people, nations, languages, tongues, okay? That's it, kindred. She sat upon their head, mystery. So that is the mystery of our resident. We are coming to that again, okay? Anyway, we are still coming to that. So let's put some more. I just wanted to put this in mind. Great Babylon, okay? Great Babylon, put it in mind. I want to, I want to throw in some, you know, guidance over there. So you see the Great Babylon? Here I am, done it uh, for uh, verses 30. The king spake and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? So now, by now you understand already who built the Babylon. The Bokana is okay. He's the one who built the great Babylon. We see that great Babylon again. And all together is Nebuchadnezzar. It is Allah. These are the women. Seven women. All right. So right now here we, we want to talk another picture. Now we want to unveil the mystery of Abba Yehuwah. So we are getting another picture. What is mystery and how does it work? You can read all Daniel chapter 2. You know? Prior to this you can study all two. But I won't be able. I'm going to take only from verses 9 to 11. Then I jump over again. Speaking of all these astrologers, you know, magicians, stargazer, uh, soothsayer. All right. 
that we're working for Nebuchadnezzar when he saw a dream that we're unable, you know, to, 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 to uh, tell the king what was his dream. They quote it. All right, so you can, I just brief it, okay? So I want to read from verses 9 now. But if ye will not, there is the king Nebuchadnezzar speaking unto his magicians, you know, all this counselor, whatever and whatever. But if ye will not make no unto me the dream, there is but one degree for you, for ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me, till the time be changed. Therefore tell me the dream, and I will know that ye can show me the interpretation thereof. The Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not a man, listen, I love this, there is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore, there is no king, lord, no ruler that asks such things at any uh, magician or astrologer or Chaldean. And it is a rare thing that the king require, uh, require, uh, requires there is no another that can show it before the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. Who's going to unveil this mystery? It said only God that does not dwell with us. Okay. So now we go, we go down to 15. He answered us. Okay. No, 16. Excuse me. Then Daniel went in. Okay. And desired of the king that he would give him time. That he would show the king the interpretation. Because, you know, Daniel was also, you know, among of the wise men. But that of Abbe Yehoah. 17 I read, and Daniel went to his house and made the things known to Ananias, Mikshiel, and Azariah, his companions. Do you see their rene? They are not Shadrach, they are not Meshach, they are not Abednego. That is Babylonian names. Okay, we don't go by that. But I love it. They're called by their rene, and this name is being dedicated unto Yehua, Ananiah. You see, yeah, Azariah, you see, yeah, Mishael, El, you see, yeah, you see, Yehua over there. In their three names, Daniel, you see, uh, you see Elohim over there. 18. That they would desire male sins of Abbe Yehuah of heaven concerning this secret that Daniel and his uh, uh, followers should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the mystery revealed unto Daniel in the night vision. Then Daniel blessed Yehuah. Of heaven, they did get that the mystery now was now revealed unto Daniel. So, this is what the mystery of Abba Yahweh is. And this, what there is the picture of mystery, okay? So, if you don't know, you don't know, and it can get you slaughtered. That is the mystery of Mecca, okay? So, now put some more. So, first, we are looking into what is mystery in Abba Yahweh's side. We are looking into his mysteries, and we also do that of Allah. Alright, first Corinthians chapter 2, I take from verse 6. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Okay, yet not the wisdom of this world, not at all, nor of the princes of this world that come to nothing. Yes, we don't speak. You know, it is very bad to imitate, especially all these pop it people, this Christian though. You're gonna mess you're gonna mess up the whole thing. You're gonna miss the way. Okay, whether speak according to their their way, we speak according to the royal law. Okay, so verse seven. Now. But we speak the wisdom of Yahuwah in mysteries. That's it. That's what I'm doing now. It is his wisdom unveiling the mystery. All right, even the hiding wisdom. That's it. Mecca is hiding. There's five demons. We are fetching them all out today and flog them so severely. Yes, we must beat them out of humanity, out of the people of the book. They can sit up because it said the. The mother of Allah sit upon many waters, and we see what that water is. We're going to throw them out of the people of the book. You can go and sit on, the, on your people's head, not our people. Mm -mm. Even the even the hide the wisdom which you were did before the world unto our glory. That's it. This is my glory. Speaking about the deep things, unveiling the deep things of this demon, Allah, Jesus, and all. And all. I bet you what said is going to give me, already has given it unto me, the keys of the treasures of darkness to unveil it we are lucky we unlocked okay the wickedness of the wicked one if you are a constant follower 
Oh no, things has already been changed. I'm not just doing it only on Facebook. It is my lifestyle. It's what I live for. Everybody sees it. Yes, everybody sees it. That's 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 true. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Some people say, oh, it's too much. Ah, ah, I beg this, you don't too much. Ah, ah, this, ah, I beg you. That's it. That's it. It's too much. A time will see. A time will come. You're gonna see that it wasn't too much. In fact, I've not even started. Okay, I haven't. It's just a preparation. But it's to my own glory. All right. Let's pick the mystery of Abbey Yuwa in wisdom. That's what I'm doing over here. That's what Abbey Yuwa using me to do in this platform. Now, verses eight. Uh, which one of the prince uh, princes of this world knew? You don't. For had they know it, they would not have crucified. They are the of glory, that's it. How can you see that this is the hand that is going to destroy me? You also have to. <laughs> if Allah knew the damages that the cross is going to do unto him, he wouldn't have. He would have had in our forefathers' heart never to submit Yahushua to Pilate to be crucified because Yahshua is the one that needs to, you know, to sacrifice Yahushua. And they did. They sacrifice. We don't need to take him away. But assuming Allah knew, he would have had in their heart to accept him. Not to take it away, but in, in, either, in either way, it is of destruction on Allah and his companion. Now, but as it is written, I said, I, I, I had not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahuwah had prepared for them that love it. Do you know who I am? Do you know, what, do you know my hand? Do you know where I'm going? Yes. I bet you was already, you don't know. It's a mystery. But Abba Yawa has already revealed it unto me who I am and where, I, where I'm going. My end is so wonderful. My end is so beautiful. When Abba Yawa begin to speak about my end, speak about me, speak about my t tomorrow, that put fire in me to love him more. Okay? That put fire in me to love him more. That's correct. That's that's true. That's true. That's personal. <laughs> But Yahuwah hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. That's it. For the spirit searcheth all things. Yeah, the deep things of Yahuwah, the deep things of Abba Yahuwah concerning me. He revealed it unto me already. You can keep reading. I'm, I want to hang up over here. He revealed it unto me. Okay. So that is a mystery. To you, you don't know. In fact, to me, all the mystery I don't know. But the few words that Abba Yahuwah revealed unto me, it is glorious, it is powerful, it is awesome. I run after it, okay? eternal life above it all yes it is per per personal you can also take it i don't know i'll let no mind it is personal that's it so by now you know what mystery is already I, i'm just giving you the picture all right so it will be it will be better like this and more understandable so right now i want to look into that of allah's mysteries okay so we this we see what mystery is now in the side of Abba Yehuwah. So we want us we want to also see the mystery of Allah in 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 Allah's way. Here I am, Second Thessalonians, two verses seven. Listen now, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Did you get that? For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already working so how does it works this saddest my heart sometimes but i said yeah you go what you deserve because the royal law is there to guide you you know they are covered they cause churches it's it's all everywhere every corner every edge you see covered churches okay so these people worship powerfully when these people is singing every sunday when i hear their voice See how powerful that worship is. He said this my heart. What, what, what is the iniquity? They thought they are worshipping about Yehovah. But did they, they know they are worshipping demons? This, uh, this is the mystery of iniquity. You know, Revel, uh, Gen, uh, Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Then I said, we cast out devils. We prophesy. We do many miracles in your name. Mesiana said, that isn't true. I am not the one. I never knew you. I wasn't the one. You walk us of iniquity away from me. So this is how, this, this is how, in, in, this is the mystery of iniquity. This, this is how far I can illustrate it. 
Okay. So they were casting out demons, but they are workers of iniquity. And how did they do that iniquity? They did it in the ministry they never knew. They were giving prophecy, prophetic word, it will come to pass. But they were giving up prophecies in, the, in iniquity, but they never knew. They were doing great sense of wonders, powerful miracle, notable one that everyone looked up to. But they did it in iniquity. They never knew. This is how, this is the mystery of iniquity. And these people, hundred percent said there are many. Many is going to say, Daddy, I don't know. There are many, okay. And these people, hundred percent, they say, Heaven is their home. But they never know they are descending to the bottomless pit. That is the mystery. You work us of iniquity. The mystery of iniquity. So this iniquity is being done in the mystery they never knew. Can you be keeping Sunday? It is iniquity. That, that is the mystery. How can you be celebrating, celebrating Christmas? It is iniquity. That is the mystery. How can you be holding the oh no to Jesus? It is pork. That is the iniquity. That was why Messiah said, I never knew you. Adam knew his wife. He got her pregnant. He put a seed inside her. And Yahshua said, I never knew you. And that simply means to say someone else knew them. Some deity knew them. Yahshua said, if you believe in me, out of your belly, rivers of living water is going to flow. So these people never believe on Yahushua. They believe on the counterfeit. I come in my father's name, you receive me not. Another one is going to come in, in his own name. Him you will receive, you receive Jesus. That's it. That is the son of perdition, the man of sin. And this is sin, it's been done unknowingly. Come and see the preparing on their Easter. That is the, that one, re, re, that, that, that one, it makes me throw out goddess of fertility. How dare you? You say you are doing it under, but that is the workers of iniquity. And this iniquity is a mystery. They never knew. How can one be playing with Israel or eternal salvation? Well, I bet I know, keep it Sunday is wrong, you know, even though I'm doing miracle. And the story turned back to the, royal, to the royal law. But never mind, still keep on because I'm doing miracle. That is the mystery. Ah, if it is hungry with me, why am I still doing miracle? Therefore, it's okay with me, so you have not left me. That is the iniquity, mystery iniquity. So that's how they are doing this mystery. So that is the mystery. That you yourself, you will use your own hand to dig your own grave. But you think you, you want to ascend it to heaven. No, rather you are descending to the link of fire. Unknowingly, oh, that is the mystery. But you got what you deserve. Because the royal law is there to teach you all things. Like one lady who were trying to debate this matter. You know, he said, my sister, I know. Everyone knows Shabbat is the actual day. But it doesn't matter. I don't know why you paid so much attention into this. I said, really? This is the workers. This is the mystery iniquity. We are by the royal law, says Shabbat, he says, son. We are by the royal law, so whosoever that defiled it shall be put to death. We are by the royal law, says Shabbat, is perpetual. So you're not in that covenant. I said, this is the mystery of iniquity. This is how it works. He said, ah. The other day, we also debated their bad Friday. She said, my sister, not true. Indeed, you cannot go three days and three nights. It's like understanding what had to come to her before you knew it. She said, my sister, forget it. I knew three days and three nights, you can't find it on Friday. But in, 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 no, ma, why are you so much into this? And I said, who are you, Savi, and what are you keeping? We have a rules and we have a regulation we need to follow. Lay that for us upon by our Messiah himself. So why should I neglect that and be running after someone else's own? Yes, the iniquity. That is the, that, this, I'm just giving you a picture. That is how it works. You see that Christmas, they are busy. Preparation. Come and sit there. They said they want to celebrate their Messiah. He said this my heart. Because this their Messiah is a pork. But they thought they are doing it for the Holy Messiah. That is the iniquity. For the mystery of iniquity. What is iniquity? Simply means you live. Your, your lifestyle is a lifestyle of sin. You are living lifestyle of sin. So what is sin? Breaking the royal law. That's it. Okay. And they say what? Well, Jesus nailed the royal law to the cross. That's why they don't keep it. Why am I including Christianity? Because Christianity, their final home, it is Islam. That's why I include you. That's why I'm including Christianity. Because Mecca simply means mother for our settlement. So you are going back there. If you don't return, refrain from her way. You are going to join Islam. She is your mother. Mother of all. 
side of me. That is the meaning of Mecca. So it's a mystery inside mystery. All right. Yes, because Christianity came from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and Islam also, and synagogue of Satan also. So that is why I include you all. I'm not exempting nobody, even the sinner, the, the civil rulers. Yes, they all belong. So that is why Mecca is become mother of all settlements. We are coming into that again. I will let you know what Mecca is in another form. So here I am, First Timothy chapter 3, verses 16. And with our controversy, great is the mystery of godless, godlessness. Should I take it again? Without controversy, uh, without controversy or whatever, great is the mystery of godlessness. So, we don't debate this at, all, at, this at all. Without controversy, there's no need to put this on the table. Talk. There's no need for debate. There's no room for debate. There's no need for dialogue. It is obvious. It is clear. You must know that. But they are free. Without controversy, he said they are this mystery of their, this, uh, this, their, uh, uh, unlike God, unlike Yehovah, is a mystery. Is a mystery. You are like separate, but you don't know you say you are like Yehovah. Not at all. Is a mystery. They, they, they are unlike Yehovah. They are unlike Yehoshua. Is a mystery. So you are like serpent. You don't even knew it. You use your heart to dig your grave. You knew it not. Is a mystery. All right. Is a mystery. So let's keep reading. Let's let's, you know, scroll down a little bit. Another amazing fact is also over there. Without controversy, you don't need to debate this. When you say you shall know them by their fruit, everything. I mean everything Christianity practice. You can find it in the royal law. That of Islam, you can find it in the Quran. That's correct. Okay, but Christian, though you can't. It's a mystery. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godlessness. Yehovah was ma manifest in flesh. Did you get that? Yehovah was manifest in flesh, justified in the spirit, sin of angels. Preached unto the Gentiles, believe on in the world, receive up into glory. So right now, yeah, what was manifest in flesh? The royal law now became flesh and dwells amongst us. He said, for the word of you, want to become flesh and dwell amongst us. Jesus said in this, that to the cross, whenever you are saying the royal law is a cause, you are insulting the author of life. You are insulting him. It's him you are referring to because he is the royal law. And that royal honor become flesh in our dwarfs amongst us. That is why you check out all his lifestyle. He said, I did not come to do my own will, but the will of him sent me. This I know my word, but the will of him sent me. He is the word of Yehovah. So how dare you not say that that word is a cause? Oh no, it said it's my heart. First Corinthians chapter 12 says, Anyone okay, that is filled with the royal heart, they can never say Yehoshua is a cause. You can't. You won't be saying that. You said the royal law is called. You are saying Yahushua Messiah is a cause. That's what they are saying. They're not sure. But you are saying it in iniquity, in a mystery. You knew it not. That's what we are talking about over here. They are unlike Yahuwah. Is a mystery. Okay. Look at this land. They will just slaughter a soul. Souls, not just single. Lurats. Plural, they slaughter souls. For what? Only to attain 72 virgins. Why should they be doing that? Yes, that is the mystery iniquity. Because if they knew that, uh, because the Islam, the paradise Islam propagate, it doesn't exist. And the Islam, the, 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 the paradise that speaks about, it is here on earth. That is when, after Sharia law, when the whole world is being already converted to Islam, so they are going to be having 72 volge each of the jihadists. So that's the, the, the heaven. It's a mystery. How can you set yourself ablaze? Allah said, be killed and be killed. You will kill, they are also going to kill you. In order for you to acquire 72 volge. In order for you to make atonement for your 25 uh, family that died before, because Quran said every first blood from jihadists, the very first person you kill, is going to make atonement for your family that never knew Allah. About 27 family members from hell. As you drop that someone's blood on the ground, 
Therefore, Allah is going to move out of his throne, goes to hell, and redeem your 27 members and bring them into his paradise. That is a lie. It's such. Oh, my father. It doesn't exist. So that is the mystery. Iniquity. That is how Allah does his own. Another mystery. Christianity is keeping everything Babylonian. What feast are we expecting for Yahushua to be fulfilled? The feast of trumpets. That is the day of rapture. Hot up. As you heard the sound of trumpet. And they are waiting for this glory. But on Sunday, on your Christmas, on your eating of pork, taking Jesus and Messiah with another spirit, with another feast, with another celebration, with another calendar, with another time clock. Really? That is a mystery. They, can't, they are going to miss it. So that was why they were so sad and said, Oh, wait a minute. We cast out devils. We profess that. We do this in your name. So the believer come and said, I said, that isn't true. Mm, that is not so. I never knew you. Someone else knew you. What cast of iniquity depart from me? He cast them now to Allah. And this is the casting. He's gonna, you're going to see it. This is the casting. He's going to cast all the Christians down to Islam. It, Mecca is going to be your center place of worship. Okay. So we're coming to that. I think, okay. Let's take some more. So I would like to read this Revelation 2, 20 to 24. Never, no withstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou suffereth that woman Jezebel, we are dealing with Jezebel over here, which calleth herself a prophetess, okay, that teaches everywhere, to seduce my servants to commit fornication. Yes, this is what they are doing, this is their teachings, okay, but this is being done in the mystery, they knew it not. They knew it not. If, I tell you, if these people knew, they won't be doing that. That's sad is my heart, they knew it not. But if you study the royal, it will be very easy for you to fish out. And to eat th uh, things, sacrifice unto idols that worship demon. Allah is a demon. Okay, Jesus is a demon. And I've given her out. Oh, no, she can't repent. Allah doesn't repent. Let me go straight away to 24 now. Mm -hmm. Judgment 23 says he's going to kill all of you. And I will kill her children with death. That is second death. Okay. And all congregations shall know that I am. Yeah, the one such at the of hearts and i will give unto everyone according to your works that's correct okay but their work is they are workers of iniquity their reward it is to wipe all of them down to islam because make us simply be mother of all settlement it's gonna be your mother eternal here on earth after a thousand years you face the white judgment throne so look into it if it is a, a thing you will be able to stand so that is the meaning of the that is the nature of this segment See that, calculate it, ponder over it, you know, look into it very well. If it is a thing you can handle, therefore you keep going. If you cannot, then come out of it. That's it. 24. But unto you I say, and unto the rest of uh, uh, rest in thy tower, as many as have not uh, not this adultery, okay, of Allah, and which have not known the secret things of Satan. The secret things of Satan, these people knew it, but in a mystery. In a mystery. In a mystery. That's what we're unveiling over here. I think we are done with this session. We will proceed now to the session of murder. Mecca simply means murder of all settlement. And what is the first alphabet of this one called Mecca? Mystery murder. So we have unveiled how her murderhood for you is a mystery. But you don't know. Demo is, you know, giving you breast. Demo is breastfeeding you as a murder, you know. He said, it's, it's, she seduces my servant to be eating food and sacrifice to idol. This is a breastfeeding for you. This is how she breastfeeds you with the f uh, breast of destruction. Yes, but it's in, in a mystery. You knew it not. In a mystery. It's sad, isn't it? Yes, it's sad. So, so now we move down to the uh, murderhood. Pets, all right. So we, we are done with the first uh, mystery. So now the murder. So what is the first alphabet of this work called Mecca? It is mystery murder of all settlement. She is your murder, but in the mystery you knew it not. I read on Genesis three twenty. We come back where all begins. I read now, and Adam, and Adam, called his wife Kawa. Because she was the murder of all living. And what did Mecca mean? Murder of all settlement. And what was the name? First woman, you know, you know. Her name was not her name. You they said Eve. Okay, that's for you. 
All right now. All right. So, what was her name first? Abayowa gave her this name, Helper. Okay, the characteristics of the royal Hakodeshi have it. So, what was the name of the husband also give unto her? Woman. That's it. That should have been her name. Helper and woman. But immediately after the wickedness has already been transpired, so the husband has changed his name. Why? Verses 15. Can we look into that? Why should the man say she's the mother of all living now? You that is defending Allah, keep defending Allah. Okay? They said, Sempe cannot have sex. Keep defending him. Do not face the wrath of Abba Yehuwah. In fact, his wrath, it is Sharia law. It's coming for you all. Keep defending wickedness because it's everywhere. Now, that same passage, Bereshit 3 15, and I will put an image between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And right away, he will not see that Adam, the first man, is not the father of all living, not at all. Someone else, Allah, share fatherhood with him. But woman, she is the mother of all living. No woman else share the motherhood with her. Or she and she alone. How? We're going to unveil that. And this is to my play, play city. And this is the very name. They're called Mecca, mother of all settlement. She's the mother of all settlement. And that was the name, Kawa, which you call Eve. Mother of all living. She's the mother of all living. The real blah, 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 the children, she, she is the mother of the seed of serpent, and she is the mother also of the seed of Adam. Adam is not the father of all living, not at all. Adam simply made blood. That is the bloodline, or yeah, the bloodline of Abba Yehovah. The bloodline, he preserved it. Okay, but the woman has become the mother of all living. And we find this. Why are you denying? Why are they saying Allah cannot have sex? She's the mother of all living. And their holy city, Mecca, simply me, mother of all settlement. She is the mother of all and all. <laughs> Coincident? Let's put some more. So we want to see why she is the mother of all the living. All and all. First Timothy 2. Uh, 10 to 11 or so, yes, 10 to 11. Mm -hmm. uh, but which uh, becometh, okay, but which becometh woman professor, okay, okay, I take from 11, I'm sorry, 11. Let a woman learn in silence with all submission. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to use authority over the man, but to be silence. Why? Prior to what took place from where we are just coming from. She brought about the destruction of the man. She teach the man. She took from Allah the serpent. And now also pass it on to the man. Yes. She opened the door. Okay. She first of all desired to be like unto Yehuwah. Make you like Yehuwah. Okay. She want to be worshipped as Yehuwah. She brought man into that evil. So don't teach anymore. You should shut up and speak no more. 13. And Adam was first formed. There Kawa. And Adam was not deceived. Listen now. Adam was not deceived. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Kawa did this wickedness. Why? Listen now. She was in the transgression. So what was the transgression? We read from where, where we are coming from. Genesis. Both of their eaten. Both of them ate of the fruit of the serpent, if you know what I mean. There, the man homosexuality and the woman at the latter, polyhandry. All begins right to right from where we are coming from. Yes. How was it now said the woman gave unto me the woman and, and I ate? What was that? Jesus is the homosexuality, not trans transgender himself into to look like that of the first woman, Kawa. And Adam now begin to see Jesus, the fallen deity, as the woman and have sex with his innocence. That is where this weekend we are seeing today, that is where it begins. Excuse me, it didn't begin nowhere. Except for there is nothing new under this heaven. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. 
and we see that in Genesis 3 that the uh, sex perversion took place. So the woman was in the transgression. So what was the transgression? The woman was because the man also ate, ate of it. But he never said, he said the man was not deceived. But the woman, you were in the transgression. How? Because the woman provide egg for serpent. The woman gave egg because woman you need to provide egg. Why man will provide the DNA? So the woman provide egg for the serpent in order to murder to, 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 to be a murder of the seed of serpent. So this is how she become the mother of all living. She, she is the mother of the seed of serpent. She is also the mother of the seed of Adam. So this is how she became the mother of all living. And we found that right in Mecca. Mother of all sex, but that's a part of all and all. So they are the one to consume everything. Yeah, coming to that. Mm -hmm. So we are dealing with the mystery of the part of the mother. Okay. Ephesians 4 4 to 6. There is one body, one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Adonai, one faith, one baptism, one Yehovah, a father of all. Who is above all and through all and in you all? I bet you what is the father of all and all. So this is the glory Sempe gave to the first woman. Because she is not the mother of all. So the Sempe raised this very woman to the throne above or like that of Abba Yahweh. Say it's going to make you. It will be like Yahuwah. No good and evil. So Sepher still raised her to the level of Abba Yehuah. Did you see? In Islam, Jesus is the son of the woman. Jesus, they still gave her that honor over there. The seed of the woman. <coughs> he don't have a father. I always remember that Jesus is a bastard. He don't have a father in Islam, okay? That's what they said. Hmm? Indeed, he don't have a father. He's a bastard. All right now. You see, that was said Jesus by Maria. That was said Jesus, the son of um, Mary. He don't have a father. So the, that, that is the honor of motherhood. They now raised her to be like, to be the seat of Abba Yehovah. Okay? You shall be like God and no good and evil. It is Allah in all. And we see that characteristics in Mecca murder. So when you are under it, you are under condemnation of the judgment of Genesis 3. Like that of, of the serpent, okay. If she's your mother, because the sinful kawa is, is dead already, that flesh is done away with. Only the spirit is caught into heaven, and her spirit is still regretting what she did. Only the flesh, Allah is masquerading her flesh, you know, to still keep doing wickedness in the four corner of the earth. She is the Mary in Catholicism, she is the Isis, she is the Fatima, she is the all in all. She is all and all, Samorema. She is all, Jezebel. She is all. It is a birdie. And all these days, they are men. But it is a birdie. The uh, cavalry, they are using to disguise. Some uh, fan, you will be seeing a man. Have you, you see yourself in a dream? Have you sex with a woman? Something can be homosexuality. But they will use the face of the woman. And to mask up their, 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 their filthiness. And you will not be seeing her as a woman. Yes, they took her body, just like that which is of Edom did in 1 Samuel chapter 20, uh, 28, excuse me. She now raised Prophet Samuel, dead body, okay, Samuel's spirit is already in heaven. Or in the bosom of Father Abraham, excuse me, in the bosom of Father Abraham. But the flesh, they were still using it to do wickedness, alright. It raised up a demon, and now said the demon, demon looks like Prophet Samuel. Now somewhere, okay, the man of Yehovah. So is it true? It is duplicate. This is how they are doing it, transgender. Okay. Here I am, Galatians chapter 4, 22, 22 to 20, uh, excuse me, 22 to 31. All right, for it is written that Abraham had two sons. All right, I think I'm not going to read that for now. I'm still coming over here. Okay, let me also take it, no problem. For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bad woman, bad maid, other by a free woman. Okay, but he who was of the bad woman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by the promise. Okay, 
which things are an uh, an alle alle um, excuse me allegory for these are the two uh, covenants the one from the Messiah okay which uh, um, uh, which uh, gendereth to bandage which is Ega for this Ega is Masana in Arabia and answereth to Jerusalem which is which now is and is the bondage with our children <laughs> she is in the bondage Mecca is in bondage everyone is with our children they separate our children from her but Jerusalem above Listen now, but Jerusalem above is the free, is free, excuse me, but Jerusalem above is free, which is the murder of us all. So what I was saying over here, <clears throat> Mecca is the mother of all settlement. She is in bondage with whosoever she gave birth to. And we see Jerusalem. What is the meaning of Jerusalem? Meaning city of peace. Jerusalem is playing like a murder. It says Jerusalem, the heavenly Jerusalem, is the mother of all of us all. Okay? Allah said I will make myself like the most star. Jerusalem is the capital letter of the whole excuse me. Is the capital city of the whole world after all settlement. That would be in the eight thousand years, okay? Of human existence. Allah said no. Allah said Mecca is the capital, is going to be the capital city of the whole world. That is why it's become mother of all settlement. And Yerushalayim is become mother of us all. Yerushalayim simply means city of peace. And Mecca simply means mother of all settlement. They are still a worthy woman. <laughs> yeah, when you come to their physical teaching, the discreet woman. Me were everything about Quran. It is vagina, vagina, vagina. Reward in heaven, vagina. Reward your death, vagina. To take away their sin, woman, vagina. What is your problem? <laughs> you see, Mecca with our children, they are in bondage in Arabia. <laughs> Coincidence? Not at all. Yeshiyahu, chapter 2, I reverses 2 to 4. Oh, where is it? And it shall come to pass in the last days. Listen now. It is prophecy about the capital city of the whole world. I bet you say it is Yerushalayim. Allah said no, it is Mecca. And Mecca means mother of all said to me. They are the one to govern the whole world. And they will do that for a thousand years, okay? But the conversion is seven years. The great tribulation is three and a half years. They are reigns, which is their very last head. It is a thousand years. One one last head to go okay and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of yahuwah's house shall be established in the top of the mountains mountains simply mean you no know, city to city country to country but that of yahuwah is going to be established above all countries is the capital uh city of all the whole world if every family on the earth let me keep reading every family of the earth is going to be trippy into Yerushalayim to worship the king. Allah said that is not true. It is me, Mecca. You see, when they are doing Haja in the nutshell, or in, it goes this way when everyone is being converted into Islam from the four corner of the earth, everyone is going to be tripping into Mecca <laughs> to the service unto Allah. <laughs> All right, now I take it again. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain, that the mountain of Yehovah's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills. Pro, uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, excuse me. Oh, oh, my father, help me. <laughs> when it get tough sometimes, <laughs> to pronounce words is difficult. <laughs> Plural. <laughs> All right now, plural, you see hills, okay? And all nations, listen, and all nations shall flow unto it. All, not some pair, all nations. In other words, Allah said that is not true. All nations are going to be flowing right to Mecca. And many people shall go and say, come here and let us go up to the mountain of Yehovah.
to the house of Yoah of Yaakov, and he shall teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of Yoah from Yerushalayim. What we have read in Galatians 4, it says Yerushalayim, which is above, is the mother of us all. It's going to accommodate everyone here on earth, every living. Mecca, Allah says it's not so. Mecca is the one to do that. <laughs> what is the title? The mystery of Mecca. It is. I will make myself like the most hard. Mecca, mother of all, said to me, Yerushalayim is also being called murder. Murder. You know what is murder? Murder is a, 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 a situation or a system that gave birth to children. She has a lot of brushes, brushes, okay? So now, Yerushalayim is the mother of us all, the people of the book. But Mecca, he said, it's not so. Allah said, it's not so. Mecca is the mother of all settlement. Everyone in every feast of them, they will trip into Mecca. But Abba Yawa said, no, the whole world is going to be tripping until Yerushalayim flow in. Allah said, no, the, the whole world is going to be flowing into Mecca. <laughs> mother of all settlement. Mystery mother of all settlement. I think we're also done. Let me see if there's other scriptures as well. Okay, right now. Quickly, let me establish the head. Uh, first of all, throw light already in. The four corners, I said the forehead. Simply represent the four corners of Allah. That is the four corners of the OF. Okay. Prior to this, that we are unveiling over here. There was a name written on his forehead. We know what that name is already. So the very consummation of that name, it is Allah. All right. Claim it to be your savior and your deliverer. So that's it. So now the forehead, what is head? We know head is authority. Okay, 1 Corinthians 11, 3. Yehoshua is the head of Yahushua. Yahushua is the head of the man. The man is the head of the woman. Therefore, woman, cover up your head. So that head, that, that name is already being written. Is this speaking of Allah's authority from place to place? From kingdom to kingdom, from lineage to lineage, from Christian down to, down to Islam, from Ashkenazi synagogue center down to Islam, from paganism down to Islam, from astrology down to Islam, from uh, 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 pagan uh, down to Islam, from uh, Buddhist down to Islam, from Hindus down to Islam. That is why it's because the mother of all said to me, all right, down to Islam, okay. From the Christian, you are going to end up because she's your mother. Mm? Ashkenazi, she's your mother. You're going to end up in where Mecca. All right? She's the mother of all settlement. That is the name. That is the, the, the nature of her forehead. That is the mystery of her head. It's authority from a place to place. They have been coming from way long Genesis 3. Okay? Now, the consummation of Genesis 3 is right in Mecca. That is their garden of it where they are going to settle down and <laughs> worship Allah. Alright, now we proceed now to the highlight uh, path. So she's the mother of highlights. So how does that work? Let's put some scripture to validate that also. Alright, now what is highlight in the first place? Let's also give a, a brief a background about highlightry or highlights. What is it? What, how does it work? Hala simply mean a married woman, you have a husband, you now went to go and be having sex with another man. So that is the definition of a highlight. You have a husband, you are a married woman. Live it under your husband's roof, but you not neglect that roof of your husband. You don't want to go and be having sex with another man. So this is what this woman does. She is a a, a, a wife snatcher she's gonna snatch a wife from her husband rifle owner and begin to have sex with her does this remind you of something that took place in genesis 3 where serpent you know have sex with a married woman she break her right now yes he have sexual intercourse with a already married woman and this is the religion it's gonna consume all oh, our oh, journey started from Genesis 3. Wow, wow, <laughs> this is deep. 
arena. So that is the only definition for highlots. Prostitute. Excuse me. Highlots. Prostitute. Excuse me. Uh, it goes this way in another hand. Okay, highlot. Me simply me prostitution. Excuse me. I get carried away with adultery. Yes, we also find out from their own words, uh, from what we have been studying, there's also adultery over there. We are just read, okay? Or uh, uh, Revelation 2. Okay. So right now, highlots. What does highlight simply miss again? I'm going to take it over here. Listen now. Listen, you will see the clear picture here. Highlight, that simply means prostitute. You fornicate here. You fornicate there. You fornicate there. You have having sex without marriage. Excuse me. That is where I'm supposed to drive into. You have having sex without marriage. Okay, highlight is also in the, in, the, in, in the picture anyway. I'm also going to drag that one out. Okay, first of all, highlight simply means you prostitute everywhere. You fornicate with any. Whatever that comes your way, you put inside of you. That's high lot. Okay. Prostitute. I read now. First Corinthians chapter 6, 15. No, you're not that. Your bodies are the members of Yehoshua. Shall I then take the members of Yehoshua and make, make them the members of an high lot? You always forbid. This is where I supposed to, first of all, read before I throw that in of adultery. Because you are the member of a man, you already belong to a man, you live under the instruction of a man, somehow, somehow, you not take your, that members, you not joining with an highlot. Allah is highlot, is speaking of over here. Okay? Allah and his religion, they are the highlotry over here. But you that is going to convert to Islam because it's going to be your mother, the mother of all, because she's the mother of all highlots. Okay? You're going to join the members of Yehoshua, whereby you belong to a man. We're not join with, with, with a high lot. We're not join with that Allah, Sharia law. Listen now. What? No, you're not that he which is joined to an high lot is one body. For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. So this is where I'm supposed to establish before I throw in of adultery. You see the first woman, Allah joined with her. She was a married woman. Allah not joined with her. To make her one flesh with him. And we see the wickedness of that union today here on earth. He brought about the flink of fire. He brought about the white judgment through. He brought about death, sickness, destruction, and all, and all calamity you are going through here on earth. That relationship, yeah, wicked union, brought about it. He brought about it. So right now, what happened? Abba, you want to declare death. Why? Death because the first woman break covenant. She break covenant of bloodshed. She not make covenant of bloodshed. That is why in the royal law, let me put it. Alright, now here I am. Leviticus 20 verses 10. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer. And the adulteresses uh, shall surely be put to death. So that's it. This is where I'm supposed to first of all establish before I dig out but what took place in Genesis 3. Adultery. So the penalty is what? Death. You must be put to death. That was why the woman got, you know, death. A uh, penalty. You shall surely die. If they would touch that man, you shall surely die. And what about the man? You also die. Eternal. That one all is eternal. He said both the man and the woman will be put to death. Allah is already been put to death. It's going to what, what is this death? Link of fire. And the woman also got out penalty. Death. Likewise, the man, because in all and all, I bet your wife is a husband behind you. That belongs to someone else. You bring it in your adultery to seduce them, to be one with them. He that joined with Allah, become one with Hilot. You take it the member of Yahushua and join with Allah. Why? Because it is breaking a blood covenant. You say, any woman, you have already shed your blood for your husband, which is your vagina, the ceiling, the seal over there. 
is already be broken that is how you shed blood for your husband of one is eternal all right that is how your husband circumcises you that is blood circumcision you give the blood to your husband but you will have covenant with my penis of eternity but my half covenant with his wife seal in the vagina is the one to break the seal but first unfortunately Alana went there to break the first woman's seal so that is the glory I see using today to utilize that wickedness Allah is a highlight every fully deity all every one of them they are highlights Allah is their mother okay is the father is playing the part of father and mother although he said he's not a father he said you know it's just God is Allah every one of you slaves okay it's okay no problem but it's a mother <laughs> so this is how it is you got eternal domination destruction because it is blood covenant woman married woman you want to go out sexual intercourse with another man you must be killed why because you break covenant you it is you break covenant it is blood covenant you break it so you must go for it so that is what Allah want the whole world to do to break covenant although Christianity is, is already spiritually with Allah okay but the congregation of a smana okay that's what he's trying to do to them but they would rather die they won't break this covenant of oneness with Yehovah eternal they will never join with Allah Allah is the Allah and anyone that convert to Allah you are the it will be your murder yes I'm gonna be worshiping Mecca because Mecca simply means mother of all settlement that is the first alphabet we are unveiling over here mystery mother of all settlements yes this is how he did it right now we proceed now to the very last point of it all you see this very first letter was also heavy uh abominations of the earth so how is it how does that work so let's put scripture to validate that here i am zechariah chapter 5 it verses 5 as well then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me lift up now thy eyes and see what is this that goeth forth and i said what is it and he said this is an ephod that goeth forth uh, he said moreover this is their resemblance through all the earth this is their resemblance come on now the abominations of the of the old earth listen now seven and behold there was laid up there was lifted up listen now there was lifted up a talent of lead and this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the evil and he said this is the wickedness and he cast it into the midst of the evil and cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof then lifted I up my eyes and looked and behold there came out two women and the wind was in their wings for they for their wings for they had wings like the wings of a stock and they lifted up the effort between the earth and the heaven. This is what you're gonna do now. This is what this is what you're gonna do now. This is what you're gonna do now. Three women in one. <laughs> one was in the center, the other one in the right, the other one in the left. And these two in the right and left, they're not lifted the one in the center up high to the heavens. <laughs> Abominations of the earth. That is Islam. Christianity. On the right hand, synagogue of Satan on the left hand, they're gonna lift Allah, Islam, onto the heavens. That every nation is gonna be tripping into Mecca <laughs> to worship Allah. Yes, this is the abominations of the earth. Listen up. Because you are going to convert to Islam because you are Babylon. You came from there. Ten. Then said I to the angel that talked with me. Where does this about the ephod? And he said unto me, To build it an house in the land of Shana, and it shall be established and set there upon our own base. <laughs> Who built Babylon? Nebuchadnezzar. Mystery Babylon. Where is it? Arabia. Follow up with part two. We're going to reveal that one powerfully. So you see, so what is a house? We are the house of Yehovah. We are the temple of Yehovah to build a house. That is every one of you that converted to Islam, you become the house of Allah. 
Allah is going to resident in you. What, 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 what does that mean? Eternal link of fire. Damnation. That is why it's, it's an abomination of the whole earth. It's a, the abomination of the earth. And this is their resemblance. What is their resemblance? Oh, my father, I rebuke you, Satan. You was mighty name. Oh, oh. Resemblance. <laughs> I'm, I'm just struggling with the words. What is, what is resemblance? Something that looks like. Look at now. Listen. Christianity said they, they call it God. They, they worship a God. Islam worship a God, it looks like. It's not God said also worship a God, it looks like. This is their resemblance. And then I lifted the one in the center to the heavens. This is how it becomes the abominations of the earth. Because every one of you that convert, you're going to be worshipping. You will become the house of Allah. Every year you're going to be tripping to Mecca. Now to go and do your aja and kiss the black stone. Can you see that? Not at all. You put some more. And yes, said our own base. You see, she had <laughs> our own base. Where is our, our own base? It is Mecca, mother of all settlement. It did not say Yerushalayim, our own base. She have a base. Where you always going to be worshipping? Yes, you're going to be worshipping her. Mm hmm. <laughs> Zechariah 5 We saw over there three women One was in the center One at the right hand And one at the left hand Alright So next we follow up We're going to also unveil that one powerfully It is their holies of holies So that is the mystery of next week Revelation 16, 19 And the great city was divided into three parts Did you get that? He said this is their re re resemblance That go forth throughout the whole earth Okay, it is their resemblance. Listen now. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before Yehovah to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Yeah, that's it. He was going to gather all of you. Anyone that converted, this is how you've been gathered. This is how you want to gather all of you, not to your own base. They will, he will not pour his fury upon everyone that take the mark of the beast. So that is what is going to, you know, that is, what we, that is the event at hand that we are heading towards, okay? You see, it divided into three places. And we saw, saw three women over there. It, it doesn't really necessarily has to be a woman like I keep saying. It simply has to do with a system that brings forth, you know, branches, you know. Islam is the fattest great religion on earth. Yes, that is how, the, that is how woman, a fruitful woman, that is what the royal law is. When he's talking about woman, he's talking about governance system. He's talking about, yeah, governance system that brings forth uh, fruits like that of a woman. Okay? So that is the scenario. So right now, we see Allah divided himself into three parts as a religion. Okay? Christianity, synagogue of Satan, and Islam. But the one in Satan is the one. The both is going to lift him up. That is, they are going to join and prosper and make it enlarge it enlarge it. they're gonna make it one word or the other yes it is already being stated not they but they're gonna give it into islam 100 percent because they belong to babylon they came from them yes that is who they are that is who they are john 4 22 yeah worship yeah worship yeah no not what we know what we worship for salvation is of Yehudims. You worshiping demons, calling him God. You worship whom you don't even know whom you worship. You worship demon. That is the mystery iniquity. You worship a demon. You say it's, it's God. No. You worship whom you don't know. So family, I'm so glad and blessed. This is very heavy. We are done with the first alphabet. Now let's quickly go now to the second alphabet. And I'm also so glad that the, the alphabet is not too large. It's not just five alphabet. I think we also have up to two points. Yes. All right, now, family, we head to the second very alphabet. So what is it being called? E, this mystery called Mecca. We beat one demon already. That's going to make you her daughter or her son. All right. So the second alphabet, what is it being called? What is it being called? E, isn't it? So what is that go for? Another demon we need to flock seriously over here. We need to pour fire 
also upon this demon. That is what we are doing. That is the nature of the segment. We pour fire already upon the mother, mystery mother of all settlement. We pour because he cannot be my mother. So now the second half of it, we also want to, we are also going to break fire upon him, fire, fire of brimstone upon his head. So he, what did he go for? Eternal separation from Yehovah. That's it. He covered to Islam. You can't be crying. Allah Kubara at Mecca. It simply means eternal separation from Abba Yehovah. That is the second letter. Coincident is not. This is the wicked demon awaiting you in Quran. All right now. So what is the second letter? E. Eternal separation from Abba Yehovah. Scripture to validate that. Romans chapter 6. I read from 15. For a better understanding, I should have just gone straight to 16. What then shall we say? Excuse me. What then? All right. I think from, from 14. For she shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under the law, but under grace. What then shall we say? Excuse me. What then shall we say? Because we are not under the law, but under grace. Yehovah forbid. No, yet not. That to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey. His servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. So right now, what I was saying over here, we are still coming right back. What I was saying, what is going on over here? Because eternal separation simply means, uh, eternal separation from Abba Yehua simply means, you worship other deity. You separate eternally yourself from Abba Yehovah. Alright? So it makes eternal death. So in either way, we are all servants of some of deities. Okay? In either way. Whether of righteousness unto heaven or of sin unto death. We see nobody live freely as he or she wants. Everyone, uh, prior to this very uh, to, uh, distinction of people, we see both is a slave, is a servant, all right, unto a master. A righteousness is a master, sin is a master. So what is the second alphabet of this word called Mecca? It simply go for what? Eternal separation from Abba Yehovah. That's it. So now when you separate from Abba Yehovah, you join with other deities. Therefore, you're going to be a servant or a slave of the very one you join with. And we see over there, sin is a master. That needs servants to serve him. And righteousness is also a master. That needs servants to serve him. It's either way. None of us is free. We live under rules and regulation. That's it. It is an obligation for the servants to do the works of his masters. Alright now. I have a little jotted down over here. Now. The essence of Yehovah's judgment. Upon evil doer. Does a lovely Yehovah take his stand and get sin to judge and condemn it? I say yes, he does. Why those who are deceived, self-deceived, those who are self-deceived say no. Oh, he is so lovely and always ever forgiving regardless of your sin. You can learn it doesn't matter. He knows your weak point. This is, he knows your weak point, okay? <laughs> and no, no, they can't punish. He can't send people to the link of fire. How can a lovely Yehuah do that? How can he put people into fire? You are a self-deceiver. Okay? This is absolute, incomplete view of Yehuah. Where there is mercy, no justice. The truth is that you can desire a God that mass that can massage or that massage the head of serpent. A yo a, a god who does not judge sin is unholy, is unrighteous, okay? A God that is all lovely, all grace, all merciful, no justice, no sovereignty, no wrath, he is a demon. That God is a demon, okay? That is not Yahweh of the royal law. Yehovah judge and condemn sin, evil doers, lawbreaker, rebelliousness. That reveal his righteousness. That is how we know he is righteous. Okay. 
that reveals his righteousness, his character, system of salvation. Okay, Psalm 119 verses 137 speaks about Yahweh's righteousness. I think I'm, I'm quickly read it. I read, Righteous art thou, O Yahuwah, and upright are thy judgments. Did you get that? His righteous, his judgment reveals his righteousness. He do punish sin, sinners that refuse to repent. Yes, send it to all to the league. That is the second alphabet of Mecca. Eternal separation from Abba Yehuah. And when he separate from him, he said he will not send it to eternal link of fire. Of course, he does punish sin. Okay. Psalm 97 verses 2. Clouds and darkness are around about him. Righteousness and judgment are the are the in a, excuse me are the habitation of his throne righteousness judgment he do punish sin okay don't be deceived he will send people to the link of fire that is the second alphabet of this work called mecca whosoever you become a servant of it becomes your master does it when you convert to islam and all this stupid Christianity. That's it. Allah is the one walking. You see, they divided themselves into, into three parts. So, you being Christianity is the same. Synagogue of Satan is the same. As far as you are not doing what the royal law says, it is Babylonian system. Okay? It means eternal separation from Abba Yehovah. And when you separate from him, you go to the link of fire. That's it. Psalm 145, verses 17. Yehovah is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. That's it. He's holy in every work he does. Is holy. There is a righteous judgment. There is a holy judgment. So this reveals his righteousness. If he's all lovely and without wrath, therefore that is that is going to be demon. But letting you know that see is wickedness. What is he simply mean breaking the royal law? So you does that. And I bet you what will say, it will come and massage your head over that. No, he didn't say it's a joke. It will be a joke. <laughs> no, but it's, uh, for, uh, forbid that from Abbe you will see. He's righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. He's judge. He do punish, punish people yeah, for their wickedness, of course. Here I am. Romans chapter 1, 16 to 17. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahushua. For it is the power of Yahuwah unto salvation. To everyone that believeth, to the uh, uh, Yehudim first, and also to the Greek. For therein, listen now, for therein is the righteousness of Yahweh revealed. Where? For therein is the righteousness of Yahweh revealed. From faith to faith, as it is written, the, the just shall live by faith. That is how salvation, righteousness of Abba Yahweh also brings about salvation, does it? Okay, it also brings about salvation, discipline you unto salvation. Okay, he said that is how the righteousness of Abba Yehuwa in salvation be revealed. That's it. So it do punish sin and sinners, of course. All right. Yet he also, in his infinite amount of sin, offers salvation from sin ultimate consequences. We see the sin's ultimate ultimate consequences. It is the eternal link of fire. But through his righteousness and mercy, he offer you and me salvation. What do we not need to do? What is our part? To keep his rules and regulations. That is how you honored him. That is how you did not look down on him. But if you fail to do that, that simply means eternal separation. You are not a servant of righteousness. Rather, you are a servant of sin. And righteousness is a master. And sin is a master. And who is sin? Revelation, uh, Genesis 3, uh, excuse me, 4. He said, sin knocked at your door. A sin is a person. He's knocking right now at your door. And he desired to have you. Allah was already knocking at the door of Cain to carry out one mission for him to kill the righteous Abel. And this is already being established. Islam is coming to knock. It's knocking already. We see it, you know, we see it all everywhere already. Now they are going to knock already again at the, at, at the door of everyone. But Abba Yehuwah said you must you know, master it. If not, if you open that, it, it means eternal separation. 
and that's it and when you separate from here what eternally where are you going to the link of fire does punish punish punishes our sin and all his evil doer yes it does it's going to punish Allah Allah is the sin over there and it will punish also ever that converted unto Allah for make out of become your murder rather than Yerushalayim yes get over it I bet you will punish sinners that's correct he do punish sin so you can keep reading Romans chapter 6 you keep you know a debating on this matter whosoever you offer yourself to that you become a servant some translation will say slave some sub translation will say servant but in either way we are all both servant or slave unto deities so it depends whether the deity of sin which is Allah or the deity of righteousness which is Abba Yehovah himself okay it depends the one you take as your master now Matthew 20 uh, Matthew 6 24 <clears throat> no man can serve two masters that's correct you can serve both sin and righteousness no no man can serve two masters for either he will hate hate the one and love the other or else he will hold hold to the one and despise the other ye cannot serve both Yehovah and Mamo okay listen now this is how you despise you see you must love one and you will despise the other this is how christianity despise the royal law this is how islam islam despise the royal law this is how the synagogue of satan despise the royal law why because they are the servant of allah they are the slaves of allah they are the servant of allah you must become a slave of one or another you can't bo group the both together you can't be keeping sunday you say you are serving yehovah you can't be keeping friday you say you are serving yehovah you can't be keeping babylon and you say you are saved. no 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 you serve allah in totality allah is the one you serve he is your master you can serve both together it, it has never been done you must be loyal you must love or you must hate you hate abe yehovah abe yehovah so whosoever that hated me you love death that's it and you despise his ordinances who gave you sunday where did they get that from who gave you friday where did they get all this from january 1st as your calendar who did that all right now we have so much yes you have already been you despise the word of abe yehovah already and you now gave yourself to islam because Allah is the author of it all, Babylon, whatever, pagan, whatever, 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 most sexuality. Allah is the author of all and all. As I the word of it, Allah is the author of, it, author of it all. So this is how you separate yourself eternally, eternally from Abba Yehovah. That is the second letter. Make separation eternally from Abba Yehovah. We put some more. That was why Joshua gave us opinion. You can do it, whatever. That is the nature of this segment. It's an opinion. I'm not imposing it on you. It's just an opinion. Joshua also did the same. Joshua 20, uh, 24, I read verses 15. You can read all of uh, chapter 15, uh, 24. And if it seem evil unto you to serve Yehovah, choose you these days whom ye will serve. Whether the gods which your fathers served that we are on the other side of the flood, all the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yehovah. That's it. Choose this, this. It's an opinion. It's a choice. Pick the one you want. The master of righteousness or the master of sin. In either way, we are all slaves. In either way, we are slaves to the master of righteousness or we are slaves to the master of sin. They are all deity. They both are deity. So choose, pick one. It's up to you. He must and talabo sikeba. Pick one. So what is the second letter? E. Eternal separation from Abba Yehovah. Therefore, man cannot become your eternal home. That's it. Uh, look, uh, look 16. You can take 19 to 31. Just want to pick some few verses because the one you offer yourself to to serve that becomes your master eternal i read 30 we have we were all 22 and it come to pass that the beggar died and was buried by the angels into abraham's abosom and the rich man also died and was buried and in hell he lift up his eyes being in torments and saith abraham far off and lazarus in his bosom 
You know, he was so poor. He never cared. He still, be, he still believed in Yehovah. Because if you don't believe in Yehovah, you want to do that, you know, or, or favorizing. You don't serve him, will take you to his heaven. Mm -mm. He served Yehovah. Even though life was so difficult, even though he cannot even feed himself, he is sick, he cannot walk, he has to be carried by people, hit it from the hands of unbeliever, hit it from what fall from the mouth of unbeliever, the unclean, unclean people. But yes, he hold on to Abba Yehuah. If I can only have clothes, we have to lay my head. That is all I need. I just need my husband, Yehuah. I don't want to miss him. He never compromised. Life was so difficult on this man. But he never gave up. He is believing in Yehuah. That was why when he died, he was comforted. Now sorrow is over. Now let's see. The one that serves sin. You serve sin. You stay with your master eternal. 24. And he cried out. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And said Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. You need help? Not at all. No. You cry to your master, the one you said while you were on earth. Because you did not serve about you. Well, that is why he put you over there. Eternal. Okay. So that means simply mean eternal home. Eternal separation from Abba Yehuwa. That is the second letter of this work called Mecca. After that, Abraham said, no. 25. Abraham said, so remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things. And likewise, Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside, yeah, and beside, and beside all this, and beside all this, between us and you, there is a great God feast, so that they which won't pass from thence, excuse me, all right now, so that they which won't pass from the, uh, from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that won't come. From this, it makes eternal home. Remain your house. We remain in our own house. That's it. Lazarus thinks we are difficult. But he never gave up on Yehovah. He still believe Yehovah of righteousness. He still do what he ought to do. Alright, you that self sin workers of iniquity, you want to every heaven. You need help now. Sorry, no help for you. Yeah, it is your eternal home. Tell it. Okay. Here I am, Ephesians 2, 1 to 3. And you had he quickened, who oh, were dead in trespasses and sins. So you were once dead. Now that you are still alive, there is a room for you for resurrection. How? Return back to the royal and then you get the breath of life. That is your resurrection. That is self resurrection. And you had he quickened, who oh, were dead. Dead in trespasses and sins. Sin is a killer. It's going to kill you. Eternal. If you give in to them. We are in, in time past. Ye walked according to the cause of the word of this word. According to the prince of the power of the hair. It's Allah. The spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. That's it. Among whom also we all had our conversation in time past. Times past. In the lust of our flesh. Fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind, and we are by nature the children of wrath, even as others. That's it. The only way you can get resurrected body or resurrected, resurrected heart is to quit whatever you believe that is contradicting the royal law. And you that is a pagan, you need to give it away. It means contradiction. Islam, it means contradiction. Living out of the royal law simply means contradiction. It goes for everyone and everyone that does not live according to the royal rules of the royal law. It is contradiction. Give it away and come to life. That is how you resurrect it. Before the final resurrection. To give you a glorified body. This is self-resurrection. As you return back inside of your abbey, your wife is renewing. It's removed. It's recreating. Prepare, pre prepare you for the eternal resurrection. So that's it. Sin is a death. It's going to put you to eternal home, which is torment. We see it already from that rich man case. All right. Now, Second Peter, you can take it from verses 12 to 22. But I think I'm going to start from 17. This other words without water, I say from 16. But was rebuked. Okay. Balaam was rebuked. Yeah. Doing the words of Allah, he got rebuked. Okay. 
this we are worse with our water was uh, wells are you aware with our water what is water water goes th uh, three dimensional the Ruach HaKodesh, the word of Abba Yehua and people. So prior to this, or in this cup set, it has to be the word of Abba Yehua and the Ruach HaKodesh. So these wells, they are without water. They are without the word of Yehua. They are without the Ruach HaKodesh. Are you one of them? Come out of that. That is the nature of this segment. If you are one of them, if you find yourself to be one of it, come out of that group and return back to the royal law. These are wells without water. Clouds that are carried with a tongue. Uh, Tempest, tempest here, yeah, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. Do you want to go for this? The mist of darkness to be reserved for you forever? Is that what you want? Look into it. If not, it's not what you want, then drop whatever that is contradicting the royal law and return back to the royal law. For when it is for when they speak great, uh, speak great uh, swelling, words of vanity, they allure. Through the lust of the flesh, that's it. You see, our Christian apostle, this they are the one this referring oh, refers to. Through much wantonness, this that we are clean escape from them who live in error are escape already because Christianity they live in error, Islam live in error, whatever and whatever that contrary the royal law, that is error. You need to run out of it. Nineteen. Why they promise them liberty? They themselves are the servant of corruption, that's it, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same he is brought in bondage. For in, okay, Islam is promising salvation, but they don't have, that's not true, they are promising liberty, you're going to convert, and you're going to have liberty, that is not true. They then say they are corrupt, they don't have it. They don't have it, you cannot have it. You can find, there is no salvation, nowhere. Under this heaven whereby you, there is no salvation in any other name. Under this heaven whereby you must be saved. It is one Yehoshua. And for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of Yehoshua uh, HaMashiach, Yehoshua, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. That's correct. For it had been better for them not to have no the ways of righteousness that is Christian though you carry the royal or you carry or you understand what you say you understand everything but you don't you never care but it will be better you never knew no, any of these things to convert to Islam to renounce Yahushua to renounce Messiah no it will be better you never come to that knowledge it's a serious case okay so your present situation is going to be worse than before because that is the nature of Sharia law to renounce Yahushua to renounce Messiah and say never die never go so the Christ is not the son of Yahuwah he was never buried neither did they resurrect and when you renounce it and you give unto them your situation is going to be worse eternal lake of fire is going to be your home that is it I'm not the one saying it I'm just ready what I found in the royal law for you Hebrew 9 27 it is appointed unto man to die once after death, what? Judgment. That is eternal home. And so, eternal home. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. We, I read it already. Oh no, I did it. I'm be quoting it. That day, many is going to say, we cast out demon. We prophesy in your name. We cast out demon in your name. We do many wonders in your name. But the author of life now said, no, it is, it is, it's not so. It's not true. I never knew you. You walk out of iniquity, depart from me. Someone else knew you. Which is Allah spiritual and it's going to be manifest in Sharia law physically. Yes, that's it. Physically. Hmm? Matthew 23, oh, excuse me, 25, 1 to 12. You know, by now what, it, what that is. The bridegroom is on his way coming. And we see the foolish virgin. Without oil, if oil, what is oil represent according to the royal law? The Ruach Hakodesh. They were not having the Ruach Hakodesh, so they were living now in darkness. There was no light for them. So if you don't have the light in you, simply you got darkness. All right. So what makes them to be virgin? It is the Christian law in totality. They believe Yahushua is the son of Yahuwah. He died. They believe he's almighty as well. He died. He buried, was resurrected. That's to make them virgin. 
but Islam Sharia is coming for that. So is it so? Anyway, anyone that covered 100%, you will be the property of Islam eternal. That is the second alphabet. Eternal home, eternal separation from Abba Yehovah. So you're going to be living with Allah eternally. We see the first alphabet, we see the second alphabet. So family, we are done. Yes, that makes them immediately to be a virgin. You know, they sell all things. They sell it, oh yes, sell it. Oh yes, the symbol of the Ruach Hakodah, they are so selling it. You don't see they are selling anointing all year? And that was why the wise virgin said unto, unto them, go and buy. So before they could go and buy, the door is already shut against them. This is Christianity. This is how Yahushua rejected them and sweep them all down to Islam. Because you have the royal law in your hand, that should be your guidance. But you said you don't want to go by the royal law status and commandments. You now begin to go by Babylon, and Babylon is being given by Allah. Okay, so you're going to finish the remaining one right in, at Mecca. Uh, before you will not face the white judgment through. Yeah, that's it. I'm glad we are done with the second alphabet. I bless and I, 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 I love Abbe Yehovah. Of course, I do. I love him. So we are proceeding now to the very third alphabet. <laughs>
Ghana reaches. Now few we go away. Kenya na you we ya go away fe. Allah, oh we no just seven table na. Eh no, it just so we. Oh we no just seven table na. Eh no, let the <laughs> Our glory unto Abba Yehovah. My son is welcome here because the more we utilize it to the glory of him, more anointing will be given, the voice will be opened. Yeah, gradually everything instrumentalist will be ready. Re <laughs> Shantayaba. Yes, I bless Abba Yehovah because he's asked some and he's worthy to be praised. All right, now we proceed now to the third alphabet. Mm -hmm. We see the first alphabet, we see what it is. We see the second, they are all disastrous, they are all demons. We pour fire already on the second alphabet. Now, the third alphabet, we're also going to ray fire, fire of brains to upon the very uh, third alphabet. Yes, so what is the third alphabet? C, oh, we got double C. I don't think this will be, I don't know, let me do my best. So, what, what could that be? Covenant confirmed. Covenant confirmed. Okay. All right. So Abba Yehovah is the one to confirm this covenant with Ishmael. They are very progenitor. When it confirm is confirmed, it is disastrous. So let's get prayer for that. Right now, Genesis sixteen. You can take it from one to two of or thirteen. Okay, I'm ready or ten also. This angel here, like I always love to say, to see Osho Hamishia. And the angel of Yahweh said unto her, is speaking to Ega. You know, Ega have a direct relationship with Yahushua. Yes. Ega also named Abba Yahweh. So that is where I now begin to oh, calculate. So, okay, that is that the reason? Is that the reason why they came with another name, Allah? Yeah, it is very much possible because Ega, their murder, gave a name unto Abba Yahweh. I already told you here, and Abba Yehovah is about to is going to confirm all this covenant. Okay, and the angel said unto you, unto her, I will multiply that seed exceedingly. How is he going to multiply? He's going to pack every one of you straight to Islam. If you don't return back to the royal law, it's not a threat, but it's a it's a it's, it's a fact. It's a reality. Exceedingly, this is going to multiply. It's going to confirm this covenant. This is going to multiply them. Exceedingly, that it should not be numbered for multitude. No, you can't. For the angel of Yahweh said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bore his son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because Yahweh had to hear. Yes, when Ishmael called Abba Yahweh, we hear. He also is the one that named Ishmael. He is the one that gave that name to Ishmael. This is why it's disastrous. Because it's a covenant confirmed. That is the third one. He's going to confirm it now. <clears throat> excuse me, 12. And he will be white man. Excuse me. And he will be white donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone. Every man. And every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Yeah, that, this is where the covenant. Abba Yehovah is going to confirm it now. Now 13. And she called the name of Yehovah. That speak, uh, that speak unto her. Thou art Yehovah, thou Yehovah seeth me. For she said, I have also, uh, I have I also here looked after him that seeth me. So what was the name Haiga or Ega or Haiga, whatever? Gave unto Abba Yehovah, you seize me. That is the name she gave. You seize me. You are the Yehovah that sees me. Abba Yehovah, he say, yes, I do seize you. So now this covenant is going to confirm it. So that's why they came with Quran. That's why they came with Allah. Because their murder gave a name unto Abba Yehuda. This is the name I called you. I called you. You seize me. Okay. So there's no hiding place. Wherever I live, you seize me. Everything. Whatever. You seize me. Abba Yehuda, you say, yes, I do. It's going to confirm this covenant. Right now. You know, Hagar was running away in affliction. 
you know he also want to call her back come back home you need to finish the <laughs> you are on a, you are on assignment Allah has already sent it to the family you are already taking your seat come and finish it come back my friend and finish what you begins already Judah you want to betray me quickly do what you need to do that's what he said to Judah his betrayer quickly do and Sarah wanted to run uh, hey God wanted to run away from my mom and Sarah he also want to call her back come and finish what you have started now is the consummation of what she has started you want to take our seat? You want to take our place? Come and do it. Quickly do what you need to do. Okay. Revelation, excuse me. Genesis 17, 20. Covenant confirmed. That is what we are into now. Uh, 20. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him. And we make him fruitful. And we multiply him exceedingly. You see the second exceedingly. He replies it. 12 princes shall come. 12 Princess shall he beget, uh, beget, and I will make him a great nation. This is the time he's going to confirm this. I will exceedingly. So now, how is he going to multiply them exceedingly? <laughs> the whole world is going to convert to Islam. This is how Abba Yawa multiply Ishmael. This is how he sees a God. This is how he confirms this, confirm these promises unto them. That this is in their name, the third letter. It's confirming you're gonna be worshiping at Mecca for a thousand years before you now enter the spiritual Mecca, which is the link of fire. It's confirming it. You want to confirm this disaster, it is disastrous. Okay, I'm here again. Genesis 21. We are into the promises about your one make unto them. It's gonna confirm it. It's in their name. Mecca is gonna confirm the desire of Allah about Mecca. It's gonna confirm it. It's gonna be the mother of all settlement. It's, it's about to confirm that covenant now through Sharia law. I read. Genesis 21 30 and also of the son of the bad woman will I make a nation because of because he is thy son he is thy seed did you get that because it is the seed of father Abraham therefore he's going to confirm that covenant you see Abba Yawa promise where we just read he promised growth he promised fruitfulness and he, pro he, 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 he promised enlargement he's going to enlarge them this is how he's going to he's about to confirm this covenant now it is disastrous. This is what you want. He's doing it. All right. Uh huh. Now I read eighteen. Arise, lift up that, uh, lift up the lead, and hold. It. When after the Abraham sent them out of the house already, they are being sent out of out of our house, but they have a house. They are going to be settled in their own base. Okay. Arise, lift up the lead, and and hold him. In thy hand, for I will make him a great nation. He repeated it again. Have you seen? It's gonna. I will. I will. I will. It is a matter that is already been consummated. It's, it's about to confirm this disaster, and that's what I'm talking about. When it confirms it, that is disastrous on earth. I will make him a great nation. And Yahweh opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad is Ishmael okay drink. And Yahweh was with the lead and grew and dwelt in the wilderness, became an okay. That's it. And he dwelt in the wilderness, okay, of Paran, okay. And his mother took him. All right, now, so what is the symbol of water? You know, he was dying of hydration. There was no water to drink. He wanted to die. When he was being sent out, the son by Father Abraham. So he was being sent out. What did that by Yahweh do? He gave, me, he gave him water. So what is the water according to terminology goes for biblical terminology? It goes for three things. It goes for people. It goes for uh, 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 the royal law. It goes for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so what is the water each may have? Each may, each may have all these three. The whole world is going to be converted unto each may only one third wounds. Only one third. The whole world is 7 billion today. So about 1.7 billion wounds. Almost 5 billion is going down to Islam. That is the water he gave when he was in it. And what is the other water? The Ruach HaKodesh. So who is the Ruach HaKodesh? It is that ghost fire. <laughs> it is their ghost fire. The very self which is Allah. That's what they can perform miracles. And they are going to perform powerful wonders. You have never even seen on earth. They are going to be appearing and disappear. They will appear to you as a fire. You know, run away. It's how they call fire from heaven and fire happy. Yes, Abba Yawa is, is about to confirm it now. So what, what, what is the third water? The royal law. That's why they have their book. 
They have their Quran, governing system. You know, submit to Allah. I bet your wife's about to confirm it. This disaster on earth, you just wait. <laughs> like I said, I'm coming back here again. Galatians 4, 22 to 20, uh, 31. I read to 25 now. For it is written that Abraham had two sons. And one by a band maid, the other by free woman. But he who was of the band maid was born after the flesh. But he of the free woman was by promise, okay? Which things are an uh, allegory for this are the two covenants. The one from the Mount Sinai, which uh, uh, genderates to bondage, which is Iga, Iga. For this Iga is, in, uh, is a Mount Sinai, in Arabia, answereth to Jerusalem, which now, now is, and is in bondage with our children. Disaster is about to come. About you, you see, the, you said these two covenants you have one with Ishmael and one with no, Ishiak. Okay, one with Mecca, Ishmael is Mecca, uh, Ishiak is Jerusalem. And we see their mother, both mother, mother. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Mecca is the mother of all settlements. Did you get that? It's about to confirm it. It's disastrous. That's what we are saying over here. It's about to confirm Quran to be the guardians for the whole world. Yes, that's what. And Mecca will not be the capital of the whole world for a thousand. It's about to confirm it. You know, but you will always go with covenant and confirm, confirmation. And we'll find this in their name, Mecca. Confirmation is about to do that for them. 2 Corinthians 1, verses 20. For all the promises of Yahweh in him are yea, are in him, amen, unto the glory of Yahweh by us. That's correct. All his promises, no one will fall to the ordinary. He is about to confirm disaster on earth. <laughs> Revelation 6. Revelation now, Abba Yahweh is about to confirm this covenant. It is Ishmael. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth, conquering and to conquer. I bet you was going to confirm this right now. Almost here. Four. And went, and, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that should kill one, one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Is about to confirm it. Uh, there's a message I just did. So to know who this four horses man is, please can you listen to the mystery I did not too long ago? By the power of the Ruach Hakodesh, tied to the mystery of Mahadi. It is a uh, mystery of Mahadi, yes. Oh, my father, I forgot the other part. Yes, mystery of Mahadi. It is resurrection of demons. I, I did it one, two, three. Please kindly listen to it in order for you to know who are these four horses men. One is Ishmael, the rider of the white horse. The red one is uh, uh, um, name right, is coming back, okay. Uh, the other one for me, it is uh, Esau, okay. And the fourth one, it is K. Listen to it. it, it was profaned, okay, with a lot of backing of scriptures, okay. You know, Ishmael. Uh, Esau gave away his right because of farming. That is the third horses. K was the first to slay the righteous Abel. He's coming to slay us again because we will not give it to Mahadi. And uh, Nebrai was the one to, that taught one world order. Babylon taught against the royal order. The people should not do what Abayawa has said. And Islam is coming to fulfill it in Islam. One world order to not to do what Abayawa said. Ishmael will see the covenant he had with Ishmael. Ishmael has never come to this power. It's coming, but it is the resurrection of demon. And Abba Yahweh is about to confirm it. That is what we saw in Revelation 9. The smoke that came out from Revelation 4, where the battle of was being open, it is Quran. And Abba Yahweh is about to confirm it. And he said the whole world was darkened. By the raising of the smoke from the battle of spirit, even the sun was darkened. That saw there was the truth in the Christian is about, it's going to be darkened. It is already been prophesied. And we see 200 million army resurrected from the battle of spirit as soon as it was opened. Yes. 
That is what Abayawa is about to be confirmed right now. In Sharia law. Stay tuned. So we are also done with this. River Euphrates is already dried. The four band engines already been loosed. They already been positioned in the four corner of the earth. What are we waiting for? The two hundred millions army. Uh -huh. That is what we are. That is what is left over now. I bet you is about to confirm this disaster here on earth. So if you found it helpful unto you, follow up with part two. With it, we have two alphabets, uh, two points, and also the leftover two alphabets. Yes, Mecca is about to sit upon everyone here on earth. Hello. Ah, yeah. You can say all you want to say. You can do all you want to do. It's coming back to you. Yeah. It's coming back to you, baby. You can live your life as you want. You can spread your bed as you like. It's up to you. Yeah. It's up to you, baby. You can move your steps as you wish. You can do your things at your best. It's left for you, yeah. It's left for you, baby. Then the end say, you read what you saw. Then the child say, give me back what you own. Then sing say, you know I told you, you can enjoy me now. You can rock me now, yeah. You can ride on me now, baby. Later you can pay me back. And so you say, hey, yes I do. <laughs> and so you say, hey, yes I do. <laughs> and you say, yes I will. Uh, yeah, hey, hey, uh, yes I will, I do, I will. Through 
see the gift of life through me, I'll see it. Lay down for you, the witches of sea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it on a mama santalabo? It on a fire, ribo shantalabo. Is it on a fire, the witches of sea? The mama says, so help me. Oh, say so painful. The Arab says, so stressful. Narabaya full of torment. The rebel says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say stop sin, stop doing the words of the devil, stop pleasing the devil, hey, stop pleasing Allah. Oh, he's your worst enemy, he's your worst enemy, he's your worst enemy. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, return back to life. Stop, stop, stop. Run out of his way. <laughs> Our glory unto Abba Yehovah. So, family, we go now for part two. Okay, I would like to end this over here and begins now the two alphabet and the two points. We'll lay down on the second clip. Follow up if it is important, otherwise, not. Okay, see you at the other side in part two. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> it's good to establish the truth. Okay. It helps so much. Mm -hmm.